Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by... The Bart Merrick team, that's Bart Merrick and Crystal Van. Mm-hmm. If you're buying or selling a house, you know they will Crystal help Van. you. I, w- I do know her. Yeah, in you fact, know her well. In fact, you have put your face uh, <laughs> oh, come on. in a special no, 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 place. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Come on. Come on. David, no. But, David. No, David doesn't know. Do He's you a believe client. or He's do you not client. believe that Tom has ever put his face in a special no, place? No. I'm not a betting man. But I bet he did. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, they, I they, you don't uh, listen. Uh, I went back to my old ways because Samantha's out this week. What your DJ Khaled ways? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I uh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm I, doing it again. You know what? That's aren't a I? one. This to be a serious. <laughs> that's a, no, that's that's the one thing I like about DJ Khaled. <laughs> Everything else I hate. That big fat so screaming and that one guy. I'm like, you know what? I like it. Anyway, sorry. Uh, anyway, I text Crystal. I was like, hey, I just saw uh, barbaric testimony. I didn't know. I'm like, I'm like, I need the name, and then she. He's like, what? It's an hour before the show. Then I text David. He, David's like, I'm in a meeting. And then I'm like, okay, sorry. And then he's like, well, oh, where no. Is David, David, are you in a meeting right now? Now I'm in my car. <laughs> I was. <laughs> David oh left God. his meeting. No, and, no, you no. You know no, what? No. This is Crystal Van's fault. Uh, and if you get fired. Oh, oh that's your boss calling. See? Oh. see? See? He sees you down there. He's that's like, your boss. He's like, I see. I see you down there. There's no emergency with your kids. I, you're talking you're on the sitting in the car, and I see. I actually, I'm listening right now. <laughs> I'm listening right now. You're doing an ad. <laughs> They're playing it on Twitch. It's live. Yeah, everything is live. Uh, sorry, David. Um, anyway, you use and I am a betting man, and I think Tom <laughs> eats the pussy. <laughs> no, come on. The bar I'm on my way to Hard Rock. <laughs> <laughs> So, David, uh, did you buy or sell a house with uh, the Bart Merrick team? Both. Oh, oh really? okay. Wow. Awesome. We like to call you a double dipper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and was no it, one calls them that, by the way. Was it last year? Yeah, uh, October. Okay, yeah. He's got to get out of here. He's got a meeting to go sorry, to. Sorry, Dad. How was your Just ex- scream it <laughs> works and we'll hang on. <laughs> no, no. How, your experience uh, went well, I assume. If you say it didn't, then we'll still be. Yeah, I, I'm just going to cut this out and then I'm going to scream. It <laughs> works. Yeah, David, you can be absolutely honest. Even if you say it went poorly, I'm going to play it. Uh, whatever you say, Ooh. we're playing it. No, everything was good. We uh, actually Not that went. Bad. The selling of the house went super quick. Uh, we listed it on Wednesday. Actually, they came and took pictures on Sunday. Listed it on Wednesday, and it was sold by Thursday morning when we woke up. Oh wow! God. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the the well, market better than Santa Claus. The market's crazy yeah. right now, and interest rates are great. Um, and I mean, based upon what Bart and Crystal are telling me, they've been busier. This is the busier, busiest January they've ever had because yeah. people are now moving I think they've again. They've already got what eight under contract. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe more now. Well, David, uh, obviously, when things uh, open back up, uh, you know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Bart Merrick and Crystal Van, the Bart Merrick team. Do what David did and put your face no, in a on. special place. Come on. All right, David. Uh, don't get fired. Go back to work, please. All right, guys. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Uh, yeah, welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha live via the Zoom. Hey, Sam. Hey. Yeah, I'll be able to sort out yeah, the yeah, audio yeah, yeah. later. We'll get to that. Uh, uh, Butler here. Hey, Butler. Okay. Oh, don't have your mic on. We'll Hello sort there. that out too. Put that on the list. My wife is here. Hey, wife. Hi. I thought you would need a little estrogen in the studio today. No, you thought oh. wrong. Don't need astro. Don't need gen. Don't need estrogen. Mm. Okay. Do need gen. 
You take I need Jen. Regular Jen. You do. You have to have a Jen. Oh, I need Jen. That's true. <laughs> but welcome to the show, everybody. Um, show number six hundred five. Mm. Six hundred five. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, Samantha knew. Six hundred and um, you guys have done six hundred and five. Oh, we've things? done more than that. Uh, it seems like way, way more, more than yeah. that. We got a lot to cover today. Uh, um, I know some of you are you're listening. You're like something's a little weird. I'm a little off. Samantha's audio levels are bouncing mm-hmm. in and out. It's crazy. Her background looks different. So before we talk to Samantha, I will mention that uh, we've got tons of merch on TomAndDan.com. Uh, you can go through your app. More coming today that we have yet to even reveal. Yes, and uh, we're running a promotion with one of our new sponsors, the DeWitt Law Firm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, with every shirt purchased... Um, I always want to say the Mo Law Firm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for some reason, which is wrong. Mm. It's DeWitt Law. commercial this week, Dress up with Justin Timberlake. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're gonna talk to him. About oh that. my god! <laughs> I want to see what's, what's, yeah, wanna see what's happening. Oh yeah. my god! I saw him. He's dressed like Justin Timberlake. He's walking down the jeans. street. Out. It looked like the real outfit. I'm like, it did, did he? Did. Yeah, yeah. Because the one lapel. Look, I know this. I should know this. One of the lapels is a dark denim, and one of the lapels is a light acid wash denim, yeah. and it's period correct. Uh, what he yeah. had on, and I'm like, did he buy the real thing and actually wore it? It was hard. The, yeah, he yeah. does. I was like, scroll, scroll, scroll. Wait, wait, scroll back. What I, is happening? I thought it was a uh, Snapchat uh, filter. Like, you know, that it made you. I was like, did he buy, I don't know. I was like, did he buy the Justin Timberlake's outfit? Like, That's what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, he's going to include a Momania shirt. Well, by he, I mean our yeah, merch that guy. that doesn't sound insane. Because Eric is actually. It's a free Momania shirt. <laughs> he handles uh, Mo's merch as well. <laughs> uh, his company E2 Method. So uh, he's got Mo shirts, yeah. uh, and you'll get a free Uh-oh. one. In, oh, up, Mo! If, if you order a Tom and Dan shirt, I'm Mo up for it now. And in any order, uh, we're gonna throw in a new retro sticker uh, randomly. I told I don't Eric. even have one of those. I know, I know. We never got it. They we shipped them straight to Erica. There's so many stuff now that we ship straight to Erica that we yeah. never even see. There's stuff like, with, uh, I, yeah, uh, I don't have. So a anyway, lot of gear. So um, and we want to remind you to uh, just call Mo uh, if you uh, get injured. I believe the tagline is injured on the go. Just call Mo. Um, you want to hit him with? The- I mean, <laughs> have you heard this? So, yes, I was listening. It was so good. Uh, uh, I loved was it. it, was, good? it was not good. I wouldn't describe it as good. It, it doesn't have it's the I mean, actual tagline. It's uh, it didn't. It goes into another company's I mean, tagline. I, this is uh, if he have- saved it, and then I felt a little <laughs> apprehensive. I didn't even load it into my button bar uh, uh, because you made me feel a little yeah, yeah. self conscious about it. But this uh, is the one I did. On the go. Just go. On the go. Just go. <laughs> but the one I want, but the one I really wanted to use is just I want to even take off the on the go part because I think that's too, this is it. This all, <laughs> that's all we need right there. <laughs> that's it. Offices Orlando. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need. I'm, I swear I to God. That in there. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, check out all our merch. Uh, uh, Daniel's yeah. got the oh uh, yeah the new um, the baseball know. tee retro there baseball tee. I've got the the stripe uh, the new retro stripe merch. Do you guys and, still have these leggings? Uh, no, uh, we, no, thanks, no. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, we good do. Job. That's the only thing we don't have. <laughs> yeah. And Butler, thanks for wearing our gear. That's really great. You two motherfuckers. Mm, you're no Sam. Uh, Neither of you. I saw your kids uh, wore your stickers this week. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about all that. Was, yeah, that was so cute. It was so cute. And no. I was honored to no. have Maxie play the part of the better of the two of us. <laughs> it was all a fraud. I, I'll, I'll tell you all about oh, that in a second. It did look a tad rushed. <laughs> it, <laughs> well, they put it down. Okay. It I will tell you, It sir. looked a little bit like, what? That's, that's, that's you wake what up. What are you going to do tomorrow? You wake oh up. No, 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 no. That's not even a tomorrow. That's wake up at seven and you look and you go, oh my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to dress up today? And there's some crumpled up paper on the bottom of oh. Tommy's thing and Crystal oh. smoothing it out. She's like, oh, it's God, like it's you, career day. Yeah, it's like you found the fir- like original decor- Declaration of Independence. You're <laughs> yeah. like looking at it. It's all you don't have any dress up clothes for the boys? Like, I'll, I'll tell you all oh, about yeah. that because okay. I want to. Uh, we got a lot to do today. I got a lot of complaining to do to Andrea <laughs> about uh, my. Oh, I got a lot spouse. of complaining to do about Andrea. <laughs> uh, because. Oh, my God, this lady. I don't know. What are you talking about? She's like. Uh, I mean, she's the Tom was, Brady of wives. I'm no, sorry, no, <laughs> she is, and I'm here to yeah. say it. If Tom Brady has a lot of hair on his asshole, <laughs> yeah. I vaccinated myself. Well, you need to shave the, your asshole. The community. I, I, 
Listen, better good. Andrea, I'm just saying. If you, she shaves her asshole, I shouldn't have said that. If, if you switch teams, you're going to bring your new switch husband teams. to the Super Bowl. No, if she switches <laughs> teams, you're bringing whoever you're with no. to the goddamn Super Bowl. No, if she switches teams, <laughs> she'll have a wife and they'll be unstoppable rich. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. Well, you said switch teams. <laughs> right. oh, I, know, like, I meant oh. to another guy. Yeah. Anyway, if she switches teams, then that means um, somebody in the relationship's genitals aren't going <laughs> to smell anymore. So, Samantha, are you there? I am here. I uh, I will say, and I was talking to uh, Travis and Daniel well, before the show. I was talking to Charlie, the owner of Hot Dog <laughs> Heaven on 1792. <laughs> <laughs> and I was saying that, uh, that this whole week, obviously, you've been virtual. And it is, it's weird because, wh- like, uh, during ACTs, now not today because we have people in the studio, but during ACTs, um, I'm used to looking at you and Daniel when I'm talking so because, yeah. and because it's, uh, like psychologically, I'm talking to both of you at yeah, the same time. Kind of what we do. And whatever, for whatever reason, I can't get into when Samantha's virtual. Like I just, it doesn't. I, I can't remember her, her being chair there. And I go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I still get. I see like, you guys in the cameras doing that too. Yeah, yeah. I you still, should get the cardboard cutout of me yeah. and stick me over in the corner. Like no, the I baseball some, players oh, are doing. I can't things. let a cardboard cutout of you anywhere near. <laughs> this studio because of these two guys right here. Oh. Next thing I know, it'll start with something harmless. They'll just cut out the mouth and put their mouth through it. That's <laughs> oh how it God. starts. It oh. starts with the Conan O'Brien, blah, 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 you're using the tongue. Next thing you know, it just all goes crazy. Dude, the next, yeah, We should straight up do Major League cardboard cutout of Samantha and then with all the little puzzle pieces and then every time either we uh, get a Twitch donation or a funny joke, we take what, you know, and then it'd be nude underneath. <laughs> like, have you ever seen Major Seems. League? Look at my wife's face. <laughs> You've seen Major League, right? Yeah. That's what I've they never do. seen that, but they, now I'm also a little disturbed. Charlie Sheen. Ooh, wow. Oh, Charlie Sheen already. That that are, That's a no-go. He's got a... Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Does he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember? I know, end. I know, but does he still have it? What? Magic, he had AIDS? Magic yeah. Johnson. Remember? Yeah. That was... No. Yeah. Is yeah. it HIV or AIDS? I think he just has HIV. Oh, yeah. It's it's HIV. HIV. You know what? It's I'm sick of thing. people that draw the line. <laughs> it's, it's all... It's in the same mm. area. He's doing stupid commercials with his dad now, Martin Sheen, for like some uh, health care Here's thing. another one. Water vapor, Man. smoke. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Samantha. Yes. So, uh, first off, how's Travis? He's doing all right. Um, he's still really tired. I he's got to do like light walking exercises and then like check his pulse and his blood oxygen levels all the time. Um, and he's got that, you know, that little machine you blow into and the ball goes up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You have to yeah, keep it between like a certain... My dad used to have to yeah. do that. Oh, yeah. And... yeah. Cause his, uh, his lung capacity isn't quite where it needs to be yet yeah oh my god so i know we uh we talked about it all week and we really we talked about it heavy on the bdm show this week so i won't uh, go too much into it but uh you know we uh, long story short uh travis got uh sick and then they went to go get tested negative then even uh, with a pos- like the real accurate uh, corona test yep. i got uh a pcr or whatever multiple then, tests uh, we were negative negative that that was negative too and then they just misdiagnosed it uh, until until he got sick enough to go to the hospital last how long was he Friday yeah it was literally a week ago yeah and uh and God, then then they, they're like oh he's got corona did he did you ask him um if when how did they deliver that message well what? they roll oh. it up <laughs> in a piece of paper <laughs> they burn the edges almost like a pirate map and they put it in an empty corona bottle cuz i'm always mad how <laughs> it's nice. like it's, hospital uh, professionals deliver like it's news it's very like, like uh, lily pulitzer meets jimmy buffett they're reading off a list and they're like all right you've tested positive for Corona yeah. and this, you're like, what? You know, they, I feel like they do that shit with all the diseases, except for the real bad ones when they, uh, you take know, take you into a special room, yeah, 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 sit yeah. you down and hand the tissues over. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, how did they break it to him? Was it just nonchalant? You got Corona? Yeah. So uh, we had mentioned that he did uh, get diagnosed last Wednesday at a, a walk-in clinic with severe pneumonia. So because it hadn't got better, that's why I took him to the emergency room. Um, and, you know, they, they checked him in under severe pneumonia. They were treating him that way. And then throughout the night, they have nurses and doctors come in and check all his vitals and all that. And at 5.30 a.m. on Saturday morning, during one of those visits, they're exactly like you said, kind of flipping through the paperwork and it's like, oh, yeah, you did actually test positive for Corona. 
Why? <laughs> they, don't they know that the person <laughs> is going to re- like? You have to phrase it differently, especially yeah. springing that on someone. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know how you. you I don't know how you would do that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way that you. you uh, I mean, I guess you do the quintessential. Well, I I have to tell you something that's a little delicate. I'd ask you to sit down, but you are bedridden, as if you were somebody who has corona. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, like I don't know. Swerve how you, it in. Yeah, I, I, don't I think medical you. professionals are so just hardened to yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing yeah. that they just have to say it and mm-hmm. move on, and they've got to yeah. then like get this person better, so they don't have time for pleasantries and holding your hand and hugging uh, I know. you. I know. You'd be great at it. Yeah, I think you would. <laughs> no, no, no. Do You'd awkward. be a great nerd. Plus, I don't you don't want to make him. it too dramatic because then you scare the patient a little more. Like, he was already terrified that he was going to die. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Was he? You don't I mean, like, be like, sir, you have COVID 19 and like make yeah. it this big thing. Like, Brace I know yourself, that sir. you've, you know, in the past you've said a couple of times that, you know, like, oh, you'll, you'll make mention. You'll be like, mm-hmm. oh, my. Husband's driving me crazy. He thinks his side or something like that. And obviously, there's nobody on this show that can identify more with that type <laughs> of like, oh, I feel a pain. I think I'm dying than me. He does have, yeah, Is, a little d- bit of hypochondria. Yeah, does he have a little? So yeah. for this, w- what w- what was the a- was it after that point that he knew? Or was it the not knowing that was would, would you say is worse for Travis? I think it was the not knowing. I think once he got to the hospital... And they verified, like, oh, yeah, you're in real bad shape. Yeah. At least he had some justification that it wasn't all in his head. Sure. But it's still, he was still terrified. You know yeah. what I mean? Why wouldn't you be? Is there an aspect of hypochondria? Because I, I think this is true. Tell me if I'm wrong. Where you guys are better even fit to deal with bad news. Like, if some, a doctor did tell you, like, you have cancer. I feel like you've been preparing for it your entire life. Well, like, I, I already know. So... I already have my celebratory dinner place picked out. <laughs> Oh, so Daniel's gone through all yeah. of his uh, yeah. scenarios. No, not Carabas, I uh, Sam. Not everything's a joke. I would go to Qdoba for lunch, and then for dinner, I'd probably go to Texas Day Brazil. Like, I feel like you're so prepared for <laughs> I don't it. Know. I have no idea. That you wouldn't be as freaked out as I would be, because I there, would be like, is, no! no! I was convinced I never was going to get it! There is something to that, because, <laughs> okay. like, you That's were, worse. I'm, you were even saying earlier this week that you've been getting, like, messages, you know, over the course of the last eight months, nine months, you've been getting emails from people that have said, like, oh, but Daniel's, like, freaking out about this. Oh, you yeah. Know, the virus oh, everybody says to me. And my wife is here, so I can't do what I normally do on this show, which is just lie through my teeth incessantly. Everything that falls out of my mouth is a giant turd lie. It, have I been overly freaked out at all no. about this? In fact, I think you have been more freaked out than even I have been. Yeah, and I'm not necessarily freaked out because I'm not doing anything. But, yeah, no. We're pretty it, boring. It's, it, it, it is always constantly in your mind. You go to do something, yeah. you have to think about it because you have to wear a mask. You have to take the precautions just to go do something. And so it's always yeah. on your mind. And I think that, you know. Yeah, just this- that alone, I think, can take somebody like, because everybody's different, right? And yeah. you guys know I have severe hypochondria, yeah. but apparently I just don't have it I- for the virus. I'm not joking. This is how dumb I am. I don't think about it at all. Every single time I get out of my car, I, I go to get out and I go, mask! Yeah. Like, how yeah. can it be? It's been uh, almost a year, and yeah. every single time, I'm like, oh, yeah, but how? That's how dumb I well, am. Anyway. Obviously, we're <laughs> just relieved amazing. that he's okay, because mm-hmm. that is certainly the scariest thing that we've had to deal with as a group, as a company, as, a, as friends. You know, yeah. having somebody that close to us and, the, and somebody like that that we care about so much be impacted this way. So... He's on the mend. He is home. You are not infected, and you are home. And then I don't even know how that works. I mean, have you guys yeah. two ships passing in the night? Is that what you do? Uh, you know, according to the doctor that discharged him, he you doesn't. Know. He is not contagious anymore. Um, he did the full ten days. He's no longer contagious, right. and because I never um, had any symptoms, and I tested negative again twice this week without having him around. They also said I'm I'm pretty much in the clear as well. That's good. so crazy. Yeah. Like when we good. were we good, were getting good, our test, we asked some... the doctor about that. How can somebody like live in the same household and he not seem to think that he... he sees that shit all the time? Yeah, he said that's, that's fairly that's normal. Uh, two mediums email yeah. me and say that yeah. exact same thing. They uh, their spouse got it. They were in the sleeping in bed with them. And we are telling you this not at all got it. to scare you. Not at, yeah. look, we're just sharing right. with you what Sam went through mm-hmm. and then what we went through to try and tighten up the borders of. Our company, obviously, we have to do that. This is we have to run things as, as you know, and, and I have to thank Sam and Travis for for 
Can you imagine if that had happened to Lee? Oh, my God, we'd all be dead. Oh, my God. Um, so, it, it, it's a joke. I'm just saying thank you, Sam, for being a great and, uh, and, a, and a person that cares for others. Because I, it wasn't a point where any of us ever felt weird or not safe. Or, like, it's mm-hmm. just a giant pain in your ass. And that sucks. Yeah. But I'm I also glad. don't want people to get like false confidence that just because correct, you know, it happened where this way with our situation, that doesn't mean that if no. your spouse gets it, that you're not going to get it. Right. Like it's it actually weird made us it's just weird how it affects different people differently. I was getting a little bit of the fatigue, meaning I, I'd been forgetting you and I did it yesterday real bad. We forgot our mask walking to school. Oh, but we went back. I know, but yeah. I'm just saying that those things, right. you know, after a while you get, you get tired to. of doing it. If anything, this should just be a reminder to all of our listeners because mm-hmm. we love you guys and we need you to just take it seriously. And now they're saying you should double mask. <laughs> nah, I don't oh, know it seems. I put uh, one on my ass, one on my cock, one on my face. It seems floating around the closer the than ever uh, recently. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah it's, it's like, here. Like, uh, yeah, like uh, everybody's uh, kind of one step removed from someone they know that, anyway. Um, we're glad that Travis is, uh, is on the mend and, uh, doing better now for sure. Mm-hmm. Cause mm-hmm. that was our main concern. But here's what I say, no matter what kind of Corona I have or how bad of a beating my body has taken, I'm never too tired for blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that get, that'll get you on your feet better than almost any type of chicken. You can give me chicken noodle soup, orange juice, anything you want. <clears throat> Sam, now that, now that, uh, I'm just saying. Gotta milk out the poison. Yeah. Now, now that Travis is okay, I will joke ar- around about uh, how flustered I was trying to go get tested and how, uh, oh my God. how I was yelling at my wife <laughs> and, yelling, and me and Daniel are yelling at each other uh, because I, I can't. I'm, okay. I, uh, because I'm not unorganized. How do you function? It's a, a don't, let her, don't let her talk. My to you wife like that. does mainly everything, <laughs> and then Travis does. The, and Samantha, and it's like, yeah. I just got a bunch of it's helpers. A lot of help. That just, uh, it's like <laughs> Mr. Point Magoo. You in the right yeah. direction. Um, every time I'm about to step off the building, you swing the girder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he, he's out. off to look for his glasses. <laughs> yeah. what's, unfortunate, what's unfortunate is people that are highly successful and functioning, like Britney Spears has a conservatorship, and then you got Tom over here who has, uh, that probably needs to be under one. We're it's going, going I want to. It's borderline <laughs> weekend at Bernie's. So. Yeah, we're going I, for that. But, Mr. Magoo, for sure. So, I, everybody, like, is, you know, because we all got tested here just to be safe, and uh, everybody's schedule their stuff and then i was yelling of course i'm like everyone is scheduling it i gotta do it and then and then i'm like well samantha just did a walk-in i'm gonna do that because it's the laziest thing i, I gave you do. so many details on how to get a goddamn appointment and or where to go to for a walk-in you <laughs> waited till the 11th hour tom mm-hmm. yeah well you said you you're like i walked in this place i'm like that's what i'll do and then but you should have did it then Oh, yeah. Because yeah, you waited until yeah. Monday morning when all the college kids were there. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I didn't think about anything. Obviously, I didn't think about anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a goddamn mess. Then I had to go to another place, and oh, then my, I forgot I, my pen. They're like, we don't have a pen draft. I was like, I was, I was like cursing to myself. They don't have a pen. Like the, well, like there's all these different rules. There's like you use bandits. a pen, and then you got to take the mm-hmm. pen. And put it in and and put put it it dirty. In the, and then I'm like, well, wait a minute. Is it the ones with the flowers that you've taped on the top for me not to steal? Are those the dirt? Like, it's confusing. Uh-huh. I just carry my own pen. And then we are, we're sitting there waiting to be te- tested because they won't let you sit in the actual waiting room. And then a truckload of coughing Asian, an Asian family pulls up. They're cough crazy. They have their windows down. We have our windows down. They're not putting their windows down because then it's a window dick out. So I, I look at them. They look at me. I look at them. They look at me. They start coughing. I'm you like, just put up the goddamn windows. I did yell, put up the goddamn windows. <laughs> with Maisie I did, in the I did car. yell it with Maisie in the car. Because I'm just like, we were here first. We had our windows down. If you're going to wait for your test, park two cars down and then put your windows yeah. up down the just mm-hmm. fucking use can, can just be considerate <laughs> um, god damn it and then you screamed at the people at chevy's because they were making people wear masks i didn't scream at them i if, <laughs> if you're my server you should have on a mask right yeah. i thought that was yeah. the fucking rule we tried to walk in there yeah. and daniel says nope what? put on a goddamn well, mask. now you're moving the fucking goalposts <laughs> Um, so okay, I feel better now. <laughs> Andrew's here, and I want to before Sorry, she goes into you on the show, sweetheart, uh, I love you. I love a story. You. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, you don't believe in this kind of stuff, but this happens last night in bed. This is the last conversation yeah. my wife and I had before we went to sleep last night. But I want to bitch about the uh, the all the days, the theme days at the kids' oh, school. Oh my god! Uh, because uh, I again, this happened last night where. Uh, all of a sudden, Chris picks up some uh, wrinkled piece of paper, and she's like, "It's uh, dress like you. What do you want to be when you grow up?" Day, and I'm like, "God, 
And uh, so, of course... How far in advance do they give you guys these, the, like, all this paperwork? S- well, they, Samantha, yeah. how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I have no oh idea. So, I got I an email know. yesterday with all of the dates for next week that we have to yeah, it's so not you, a, you need to check that. It's not a ton, <laughs> though, Sam. It's not as much as you would think. It's not like he had it three months ago. Right. right. You get, like, a week in advance. advance. Good enough. I get a call a day from Seminole County Schools, yeah, and it's a recording, and they're like, hello, it's Seminole County Schools. And they're like, don't worry. Because there's a long, drawn-out thing They say things that well, are kind of scary. They'll be like, about it then. there was a man playing basketball who had corona at your facility. Everything's been clean. <laughs> Everything's good to go. Really? I, I don't even listen anymore. I, like, when they call, I'm just like, well, there's corona there. Here's what I'm bitching about, Samantha, that they even do this to begin with, because I don't. Yeah, under- I agree with that. It I shouldn't d- be fucking weekly. I don't oh. understand why, who it's for. Because okay, so for instance, it's it's, dr- it's for you. It's for social media. <laughs> it's to insist that you are active in your child's life by giving you a set of tasks that are very difficult for you to <laughs> hoops to jump through. It will it will make you be there yep. and be present and in the moment for anything that your kids need done. I, yeah, I al- I already have to sign off on their Too homework. Uh, we do their homework yeah, every but they day. Can do that. that. I mean, I mean, not what I'm saying, but you have to sign off I've on Max. I told Maisie to sign off. On <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did have that. I not? I yeah. have. You did that for my hours of my internship. Yeah, no, it's exactly what we did. <laughs> so, because it's no, it's no real signature. Like I, Maisie, we, we just make a squiggle yeah. line. So like last, Daddy does. last week we had hundredth day of school, so we had mm. to dress her up like an old lady. Yeah, dress her yeah, up yeah, like an old lady. That. Then this week was literacy week, so we dressed up or had something. So we dressed to her up like an old lady every day. No. Mm. Um, and then next week is Great Kindness Challenge Week. So then we have what? crazy sock hair clothes, uh, hat day, be a good sport, wear sports gear, uh, wear all blues because you uh, not being kind gives me the blues. And then, oh, I like that. I like and then that. wear a tie on Friday because so, why not? Be kind. So, oh, like, Jesus. it's been three oh, weeks. Oh, not. I get it. It's a not. <laughs> this that is why is, I wear condoms. It, that <laughs> this is, it's been yeah. three yeah. weeks of straight dress why? up or thinking about having to send them. Like, yesterday we had to send her with a flashlight. Daniel sent her with a mag light. I did. I, 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 I sent her with a police <laughs> issue <laughs> mag light. Yeah, dude, I, I just have fucking fun with it, man. I don't fuck around. I, I just, well, I do fuck around. I fuck around a lot. I give her the things that, like, I don't know, like, things are going to be uh, to... Vo- to destroy the day and to make it a distraction. Vocabulary parade was on Wednesday. Yep. S- see, okay, like for the career, dress like your career day. And I was, <laughs> my sons went as uh, uh, podcaster, radio guy. <laughs> they went <laughs> as Tom and, and Dan. Don't try to change Which it. Max definitely was. Definitely don't want to do. Max was no, of Orlando not. Radio Royalty, <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Lee Dennis, 40 years in the game. So yeah. and this so when Chris is like dress at twenty five, I'm gonna exaggerate. Dress it up for Max. Here's what happens. I'm like, what do you want to be when you grow up? A Spider Man, <laughs> of course, a Spider Man. No, let him dress no. like a Spider Man. There's rules. You, uh, they can't dress up like. No, that's terrible. Oh yeah, they're yeah. You can't oh, dress that up. Sucks. Like all the Spider Mans and the Harry Potter. Can't be like a character. A fictional. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what do you want to be an well, actor? We don't have those kind of rules. Yeah. Even no. our school. Look, he could be the meet and greet Spider Man at Universal. Yeah. All that guy's got goals. Like, yeah, I feel week. like she could dress up as a princess because, hey, Meghan Markle, do you think she ever thought she was going to be a princess? No, have your sons dress up like Spider-Man, Universal Spider-Man, and then have them do the okay side for white power. <laughs> oh, God. In every Jesus. photo they take with their friends. <laughs> so what they really want to be, I say, though, well, no, you can't be that. That's not, you know. So then they're like, astronaut. Stop it. And then I don't have a goddamn astronaut with a costume. Who's yeah, got that? You take a box. You Old make, you butler take, does. You take a white claw box. You cut the thing out. I know oh, you got a white claw box. Yeah. You put a white claw box on their head. No, you put no, a piece put, of cellophane in front of it. There but, you go. Putting a white claw you, box on their head. Well, it's better than not doing anything. Or it's better than no, making them be Tom and Dan. astronaut hand. onesie. You could have asked to borrow that. No. <laughs> first of all, this is the night before. <laughs> Do you have no any time. Halloween costumes left over? No, what were they for Halloween? No, they have Spider-Man costumes. Yeah, they were... Yeah, they were uh, uh, whatever they, they were. were. Put them in the Spider-Man costume. Farmer. Farmer. And just say you didn't Overalls. read the... So then I imagine I'm oh, doing... Homeless. ...what every... 
what every parent's doing, which is basically manipulating them into scrambling, wanting to be whatever I got laying around that I can make them be tomorrow. Uh, uh, trash costume. So, yeah, so then I was like, don't you want to be like daddy? But that's what poor be kids um, did. Trash costume. <laughs> Why are you giving them the poor kid costume? Uh, uh, I, because it was the only thing we had around, uh, and we don't have uh, costumes just hanging around the house. Like, you could have called me. I would run some stuff over to you. I got tons of costumes. What do you got? Well, I got Batman. I got, uh, well, Wonder Woman. They don't want they, that. They can't I got be, Superman. They can't be any heroes. I've got, gymnast. You could have put them in like little bike shorts, uh, and they could have been gymnasts. Don't put or them in little bike yeah. shorts. <laughs> Coach. I've got a sheriff uh, hat, the real one that sits up on top of your head. I just, I've got a firefighter helmet. I a just, denim suit. He could have been a mo. Put a Tom and Dan sticker on their shirt, <laughs> and then they were, okay. were podcast. What are their mm-hmm. teachers? Did they get a note? Here's the thing about Max and Tommy. Um, Max, well, he told us more, and he was like, uh, like some girl in his class, like, Melissa said I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked Tommy, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to marry her. She's a real crow. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Doing it like you, Dad. <laughs> uh, and then Tommy, every time I ask him, I'm like, hey, what happened today at school? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> That's what Macy says. And then I'm Sometimes. like, did your teacher say anything about your do- Did they ask you what the hell this thing is? like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, oh God! <laughs> so no, I get nothing. It's a little you. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. anyway. So, uh, why did they do it? Please stop. <laughs> so, um, um, but wait. Speaking of Daniel mentioned homeless, um, Maisie has started sleeping in a sleeping bag yeah, on it, top of her bed, like our sleeping bags yeah, that we used to go camping in. She started sleeping in that, and then she puts her device. <laughs> Uh, you know how like you knew like ocean sounds or white noise. Yes. It's city sounds. And I said you're just a homeless person. <laughs> what? What? So she's sleeping. She, in okay, so is she crocodile dundee? My, <laughs> like my daughter. I can't sleep on a bed. When my daughter goes to bed, she'll come in. She'll turn on a fan so she has like I guess so, air sewer air blowing. And then she, she's like a lava Alexa, lamp. play a lava lamp. She goes Alexa, play city sounds. So it's like. I'll get the fuck out of here! Yeah, like people yelling. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, yeah, and then she, she like she, she lays two. in a Columbia I, sleeping right. bag <laughs> with her head all the way up, and she lays. A, this she, is my place. Uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, she she's, like, old like, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's like no, like an old homeless man. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> Y'all see y'all in the morning. I'll be down. I'll be down down by Judy's daddy. I'm motherfucking take my goddamn. It's the sweetest. She's like an old, crazy, homeless person. I, I, me and Crystal were laughing about how independent. She's such a weird child. Uh, uh, Maisie is right now at this point in time. Uh, we we laugh all the time about like uh, Maisie's. Uh, you know, she does her own this or she does a lot of stuff. stuff. Yeah, dude, I still put toothpaste on my son's toothbrush. No. Oh, no. I said, I said you. Yeah. Are you are not a baby. You are not a baby. You will get dressed. No. The other night, every day. Tell me if this God will work for you. It. The other night, and Andrea's a little bit mad because, like, I get when when me and May, she's showing it to you. When me and May are like together, <laughs> she's very much like me. <laughs> so, did she the other night? She she. I like, was riding the peloton. She's upstairs exercising. I say, May, let's get our showers and uh, and get ready, and then we'll just be ready for bed when Mama's done. We'll be. Like, all showered and ready to watch America's Funniest Home Videos. So she's like, fine. So she just... But she doesn't want to shower with me anymore. So she just goes to her own shower and gets herself ready. Oh, my God. So she will go to her room, take all her clothes off, put in the dirty clothes. Uh, Am I bragging? I guess a little bit, because uh, the rest of the time she's just really disrespectful, doesn't hug me, and is mean to me. So (laughs) this one time I'll brag. Yeah, she'll go in there, take her shower, brush her teeth, get clean, dress herself completely, come down, get a thing of water, and she's like ready to watch TV fully. By I wish you saw, I wish are your kids still doing bubble baths? <laughs> yeah, are you still washing the shampoo every out of your day, kid's hair? Every day I draw a bath. I don't wash no! them. I don't wash them. And her, then dude. I have to touch it because no, uh, the one it. time no, I don't touch anything. Yeah. I let them do their own bath. They just uh, scold me while they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, school you gotta teach and them things. Bar- and I'm like, oh, you hits. <laughs> I can't tell you the legs. last time she had a bath. No. She and if she does a bath, it's like because she really wants to go swimming and it's too yeah. cold, and so she'll put on her goggles and then she'll jump in and rinse off in the shower. Yeah, she's oh, weird. Uh, uh, weird uh, uh, they'll, they'll be like, "Can you get my goggles? I'll bring the goggles <laughs> around oh, yeah. the bathroom." <laughs> <laughs> like, "Give me this toy, Chewbacca." And I'm searching for it, yeah. and, then, and they're like, "I can't find Chewbacca." They're like, "Oh, you ruined the night." Uh, uh, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Oh God!" 
<laughs> I'm ruining it. I, I, but it's just the way she's wired. There's no like, I, that want her, <laughs> I want her to, to do more of the long, drawn out, baby, nice, uh, cuddle me and let me draw oh, you. And she doesn't fucking want that. I hope our boys can fight Maisie with, uh, if it's the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fight Maisie. Like, well, yeah, they she's need, like yeah. a mob. <laughs> she sliced us up and already eaten us. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, they'll need a uh, leader. Here. So, but I, yeah, this. so this story, going into this story, I feel like this will be Tom. His boys will think of something 37 years later. No, he doesn't believe in this. So you don't understand. The reason I brought oh, you in today is they'll never remember is nothing. Tom doesn't fully understand. <laughs> so we were doing the math last night, and this particular memory that you have was when you were about five or six. Correct. So let's just go five, because if, I was trying to do the exact math on when the particular song came out. So lately in the afternoons or evenings, we've been doing music instead of Yeah, we've of talked about it before that we, TV. like... Yeah, throw on Spotify or Sirius. So oh. we were going back and forth with like different songs, and I started playing like "Let's Hear It for the Boy." And then you did El Debarge. And I did, I did a lot of El Debarge, yeah. like uh, "Who uh, Who Johnny?" He says, "In smiles in his special way." You know, like all the Debarge songs are huge movie soundtrack stuff. So I play Kokomo by the Beach Boys. Oh. <laughs> Kokomo is very triggering. Do you to remember me. this song? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on the cocktail oh, yeah. soundtrack. Yeah, it was from the cocktails. Good job, Butler. I knew you'd know that. So here, I'll put I it I thought little... Kokomo was a real place up until like uh, in my mid 30s. Um, oh wow! I thought it was a real place too. I guess. <laughs> it's a place you want to go. Told my wife, I was like, "When do we get rich enough?" Huh? So here's a little Kokomo. Kokomo. <laughs> so this is the song. Just to set the tune. So I start playing this song, kind of as a joke, but kind of as like I haven't heard this song in forever. See, I was doing what Butler's doing, I'm mouthing it, I'm like, Off the floor in a key. Yeah, everybody knows this dumb fucking song. Mm-hmm. So I, I start talking about Kokomo, and Andrea starts having like a conniption fit and freaking out. She's like, You have to turn this off, you have to yeah. turn this off. Okay. This is a very triggering song to me. <laughs> all right. And I'm like, well, Why is it triggering? I, first of all, I hate that word. But why is this so triggering? And then she goes through. And My circ- dad called them all Kokomos. On the go, Kokomo. On the go, Kokomo. I get it. So she starts telling me, that, like, to turn on. I'm like, well, why? And then she's like, I'll tell you the story. And I'm like, oh, my, tell me the story. So I will allow you I, to tell the story. I have uh. a vivid memory of this song and being truly embarrassed at five and six years old. Because of this song. All right. So. I can't believe you remember back when you were five or six. Right. Years. I know Tom has said that he doesn't truly believe right. that people can remember but those type of things. I've, she started describing. I okay. I am at the Volusia County Fair. Uh-huh. I am in a red uh, wagon because my dad would pull me around the fair, like my brother and I, in this wagon. So I had to be small enough. So five or six. Okay. To be pulled around in a wagon. We are outside of the fun house at the fair. You know where you go through and at the end it's got the really spinny thing so <laughs> okay. you're trying to get through. Uh, uh. But it's like the mirrors and you're, you go up and it blasts music. It was blasting this song and my dad like started dad dancing and like trying yeah. to pick me he up was and like <laughs> 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 and he, like, dad boofing to, uh, and he, yeah, he to, was like, doing some Kokomo. Uh, genital thrusts in front of the fun house and he like Volusia picked County me up and like was trying to dance with me and I just remember being so embarrassed and so just like <laughs> like no stop don't do this I, and I vividly stop remember exactly where I'm I was five. and it's not like anybody has told me this this is a memory that i have that i can see exactly where i am exactly what was going on and I know because dad, of this song i know her dad pretty well and he's uh he's been known to boot <laughs> the air boot yeah well that was back when he had a mustache i would imagine right eh uh, probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I don't even remember that, but yeah. Mustache should make you 22% more likely to boof. Uh, uh, especially, uh, it wasn't with this being tiny 90s. Short. Oh, tiny short. It was, 80, it was 89 this time. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he's squeezing every uh, bit of juice out of those tiny shorts. Uh, <laughs> got to get them done before the 80s are over, right? The littles. Mm. Before the jams got long. long. And, and Tracy said, what is the trauma? It's not, I, I'm not saying it's trauma. It's a vivid memory I have of like being in embarrassed as a child which is weird you know, to me because you don't so, typically get no. embarrassed and which is why i found it so weird for but the song just kind of makes me just like puts you back in that time i mean you can't as an adult yes it seems super funny but as a five-year-old you know like being embarrassed you don't want to 
be like that. So mm. it just puts me back in that time. This so. song has a lot of memories for people. We have Grady Seasons who said he did a music video with his sisters at the county fair to Kokomo. Oh, okay. I'd like to <laughs> see video of that. Um, do you have any uh, songs that have no 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 like do they trigger any nothing. memory i, I get, would be willing to bet that get, sam or butler might do you guys have any songs have that no you trigger. hear it you're like oh i know what that is N- nothing not or- that i can like really think of um i mean i listened to the bangles as a kid going to virginia beach okay used to listen to z104 uh 104 is like a radio station out in virginia beach okay and listen to the bangles because they they repeat stuff all the time on terrestrial radio so it was i remember hearing that all the time walk like an egyptian <laughs> my mom took me to MTV Spring Break, and my first concert was the Bangles. Really? Yeah, yeah. Daytona Beach. <laughs> in Daytona Beach. Yep. Um, what year was that? Like, like I, I was eighty five, eighty six. So I, it, oh I was born God. in eighty three. Right, so, yeah. right before the big Kokomo <laughs> incident. My God, your mom took you to MTV yeah. Spring Break at four? Yeah, we went, <laughs> she wanted to see the Bangles, <laughs> and then. Yeah, you uh, know who else played MTV Spring Break, and I, I this ties into music, so I'll, I'll segue to here, and it, and I feel a little bit bad about what I'm about to say, but I kind of feel bad that I ever really liked this band, and it's Primus. Oh, I was talking to our barber, John the barber. I love Primus. I, I think I did. But the music's nonsense. It's garbage. It's just... <laughs> wow. It's nothing you could ever put on and just chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, yeah, you don't put on Primus and chill out. What is it? It's, it's just yeah. noise. It's, it, it, it's <laughs> grunge rock, man. It's great. I have to put it in the Goo Goo Dolls Rob Zombie category. Oh, if no, I never no. had Primus, yeah. the linen... Uh, Claypool Delirium Oyster had any of that. It it's, it doesn't do anything for you. It's garbage. It's, uh, I'm sorry, Butler. It's the audio equivalent to Getting Willy Wonka's tattoo next week. <laughs> Willy Wonka's <laughs> car. It, it's all over the place. Yeah, uh, it's just like it's like what am you even saying? You're doing nursery rhymes for kids. You're like a bad Shell Silverstein. That song oh. is off a of pork soda, by the way. Which that, one? Uh, Andrea, did you see the uh, Tiger Woods documentary? No. On HBO? Um, Dana and I have been watching a little light uh, Mm -hmm. show. Yeah, we've been. We don't go. Um, Easy breezy. There's a a part in the documentary that, uh, so they obviously go into his whole cheating scandal uh, and, and during the second part of the documentary, and then they start showing how um, the National Enquirer was uh, tailing him and like yeah, finding yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. out. Which, by the way, in the beginning, and not to give it up, but there's a part in it where like they had evidence that he was doing this, and then they traded it. They're like, "We have the evidence. We're gonna release it, or you have to do GQ magazine cover for us, and we won't release it." And then he did the GQ. So, yeah. And I'm like, how, "Well, how is that not blackmail? Like, like when uh, someone gets a celebrity sex tape or whatever, like, that's essentially blackmail, right? Because yeah. they, I guess, they own GQ and uh, yeah. having him on the thing. So, like, they got m- money off of that, and you blackmailed them. You it's did, blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there's this one scene. So he did. He does it again, obviously, because. He he can't stop. And uh, they follow him, and then he pulls into, they're like, look, at this is a video of Tiger Woods' car. He pulls into a parking lot, and then he has sex uh, w- with, I think, the Perkins wait- waitress or another girl. Okay. And then he <laughs> leaves, and then they're like, "The <laughs> this work is gross and <laughs> embarrassing for all parties. Because then they're like, and then the National Enquirer, like the guy who was telling him, um, uh, picked up a discarded tampon uh, as evidence, and then he, you see him going, picking it up with a napkin, and then walking away. I'm like, she... I guess she threw her tampon out the window before they had sex in well, the car I, in the parking lot. I have, I have like, Andrea weird. do that every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time we ha- go to have it's sex, gross. I make you walk to the balcony and throw your tampon off. <laughs> That's not something <laughs> Who I want to watch. I don't want to have sex with you if you just pulled your tampon out. I'd like to give that thing at least... Give it twenty minutes to like <laughs> at least four Mississippi. Yeah, let us get it shaped back. It's like foam. It, it just. Uh, <laughs> it, I was like, whoa! That what one, I didn't you... expect that to be. I was like, what? So what did the inquirer <laughs> do with the tampon? They didn't say. They just said he picked it up and just in case or whatever. I don't know why. And it's still in his glove box. <laughs> Thirty like, years later. Oh, wait, Sam wants to know if her mic is on. 
Oh, it oh. should be. Oh. I've been talking. Oh, oh, oh these so assholes. <laughs> we were on a good I've run been there. You... For like the last twenty minutes, and no one's heard. Uh, sorry, uh, that's okay. <laughs> Couldn't have been that good. Did you see the? Dis- <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the discarded tampon? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched that yet, but oh. I don't believe that. Oh well, I mean, no. it sounds. Why would you even do it? Exactly. And they had video. They showed video of the car, so I'm guessing. Did they show her? Foot? <laughs> no, no. It out? But I think they, they have because they <laughs> saw that something got thrown out the window, <laughs> and then they went and picked it up. <laughs> like and it was yeah, a discarded tampon. Like the cops that. do when you throw weed out your <laughs> uh, like in a high speed chase. There's video of it though, and like that's the weird, gross. I'll have to look at the video. I don't trust it. Yeah, I mean, they didn't show the video of the tampon getting thrown. Exactly. Out That's the car. I just don't. It would be weird to throw that Condom in there. I get. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought it was going to be. Still gross, and you still shouldn't have done it. Tampon, right. you should never do that. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's always just... It, you should never do condom. But the condom thing makes sense because you're verifying, like, oh, yeah, okay, I guess he had sex. And who... D- and th- Are they suggesting that they banged in the car? Yeah, that, that's what they... What they, kind of car did they bang in? You're taking out a bloody tampon to bang in a car? No, yeah. no one's doing that. <laughs> but that, that's what I found weird. I, did, I was yeah. like... it was like I, I've never done that. It was like his SUV I stay as far away from those things <laughs> as humanly possible. Clean, dirty, it doesn't matter. If I see him, I get weirded out. Yeah, I mean, this guy's a, uh, you know, he's obviously got a, uh, a, a sexual addiction, yeah. probably, that you want to bang. Yeah, yeah, you can't stop himself. I don't himself. care what it looks like. Just <laughs> give it to me. There, I mean, uh, obviously, the evidence speaks for itself. But anyway, uh, you go ahead. Uh, when you see the scene, uh, mm. laugh. Oh, so like they I weren't do. necessarily in a car. Somebody said they were in a Suburban or Tahoe, like an SUV. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. There yeah, was some yeah. room. Because I'm, think, I'm thinking, like, Tiger's driving, like, a little sports car no they no, tried no. To bang in that. they uh anyway um it was gross what and was, i was like why his... and it's embarrassing for, like, for him and her and his everybody blonde involved. the ex what's she up Elin? to yeah. she got remarried i think oh did she she moved to another country too right she got ah. a boatload of money in that yeah course. yeah, I'm yeah sure she's, she good and and then his kid she went to like law school i think the last thing i away. saw was him playing in that um the father, the father that, it used to be called the father son challenge just it's, now it's the pnc like because you can, Family. You can he, have your, can your, daughter. your daughter. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. It, that was pretty cool. I thought that was that's pretty neat. That's done here. It's at the Ritz Carlton. Have you seen that? It's pretty neat. I it's haven't. a great thing that yeah. they do. It was cool. The I don't understand how these parents or these fathers uh, teach their kids how to do what they do, and then they end up growing they up their to, kid to do anything. <laughs> I just, I, it seems like lazy. Don't listen to nothing. <laughs> yeah, no matter. Every time I try to teach Tommy or Max how to do something, they're like, "I know how to do it." Like yeah. they're uh, stubborn. Like they're uh, at least they don't mom. sass. <laughs> at least you don't have sass. I get sass, and so uh, his... I get straight up fucking bullied, dude. Like I get. <laughs> do I not? Oh yeah. She is sassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a nasty mouth. So Elon, she remarried in 2019. Um, she had with N- former NFL player Jordan Cameron, um, and gave birth to a son by him. So she has two kids with Tiger Woods and one with. Jordan she Cameron, likes the sports guy. Who was he played for the Miami Dolphins? Not really. Yep. Um, so uh, yeah, that uh, I, I just don't understand how they're able to like well, teach and your... groom their their kids to play the sport that they play. Well, you so must well. have taught Tommy and Max how to ride their four wheelers, right? I mean, you can't be. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did, but um, it, it was one of those things where I taught them how to get by, and then they taught themselves. You know right, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, no, I feel I like this, uh, teaching them how to swing a golf club and like where they actually have to focus and then do the things you're saying you're also not that type of guy though like you're not crazy self-disciplined and like hardcore to like you're very soft on your boys so Mm. even if they weren't listening dads like tiger woods dad is gonna cuss them out and make them like pay attention or they're gonna hire somebody that's going to do that to them (laughs) yeah Yeah. i don't i don't think if that is the goal you are asking for something you're probably not gonna do yeah it's just a different personality yeah yeah. also it didn't prepare them for uh, somebody to be yell at them with the altar faces or do software well i i mean Maisie can take some yelling i mean she can i mean i can get right in her grill and just spit all over her face (laughs) and no i'm kidding (laughs) um she but she's yeah, I can. I have a tone that I can make her cry. I can. I know, right? Well, she'll start. Yeah, like, yeah. She'll get like blinky. Um, and it's not. And it's not yelling. It's just being forceful yeah, and more direct. With my and color. direct. Yeah, and yeah. she'll. 
Yeah. Yeah, she gets like weird. But... Somebody um, suggested we kid swap. You know, remember we used to talk about wife swapping. We should kid swap. That would be so fun. They'd be so quiet. They'd just play <laughs> video just... games with me. Oh my God, it'd be the best thing in the world. And they'd hug me. <laughs> They'll sit there and play video games. Oh, they would just hug me. I'd just like, hug me, guys. You know, ah, oh. uh, hug time. Ah, uh, video games, hug time. Fine. Oh, it'd be the best. You and Crystal would be exhausted. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you'd hate my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. you would hate but my she'll ass. Do all, but here's the thing with that. She'll do everything. She'll do stuff for you, yeah. Uh, she goes dinner. to bed at 7.45. Oh, my God. Yeah, she'll wake up. And doesn't come out. And she'll, right. you could just tell her to watch her green light. Yeah. Set that for eight twenty. She'll come out of mm-hmm. her room at eight twenty, and uh, no, uh, she three, will not. three in the morning. Uh, get in the bed, and then she hates your bed. No, cold. No. She don't want your bed. She wants her own bed. My genitals no. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> not enough room in there. She wants like, a full bed to herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's no, pretty no. nice. Uh, sleep sideways. Kick me in the face all night long. Then uh, wake up at six thirty in the morning. Watch some weirdo Minecraft uh, <laughs> YouTube, which I have to delete YouTube. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> It's they've bad. gone into now they're watching Minecraft uh, videos, but they're adults now and they're uh, yelling. Are you still on YouTube Kids? I don't know. None of it. It's all whatever. <laughs> I think he's on YouTube. Andrea, yeah, he's on you don't understand. They've been watching all the Pornhub Porn Minecraft Hub. videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm, gr- I'm just like, what is it? What are they watching? I hear. I, I, I listen. I'm like, ah, I didn't hear enough. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. I, all right. It's bad. Uh, right. Let's take a little break. Uh, we were really lucky this week to have a lot of really cool new music to play. Um, the first brand new piece of music we're going to play is an epic song that got released a couple of days ago by the Mighty Mighty Boston's. It's the final per- parade is the name of the song. And this is basically a who's who of everybody who's anybody in ska music. So enjoy this. And we'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after these songs. Shot. When me and my wife are in the bed, we like to waller. We like to waller. I make her holler. No. Mm-hmm. When we waller in the back, when I hit it from the no, back, no. I make her holler. Come on, no, no. When we waller, no. So holler back, girl, to the bedroom. Let me stick it in the no. air. No, no. All of my ads can't. have <laughs> all been sex <laughs> they, yeah, recently. Yeah. I need to get they laid, dude. No, what this? I mean, now I was pe- writing "holla in the uh, walla in the holla." Yeah, yeah. Now people are like they're just doing it on purpose. Yeah, now you're doing no, you shock jock. Fuck it, no. I'm just straight ad then. No, 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 well, no. They're no. Uh, I'm doing the it straight. They're like, please do. No, 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 don't no, no. say no, 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 no. Don't no, no, mention no, no. wallering in the bed. Last time I checked, it was me, and I doggy control. Style. I can. I didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, you said it in the back. You no, said doggy from style. From the back doesn't mean. Do- well, I guess it, well, it doesn't have to. It, but it's, it does it not mean dog is That's true. Game. That's true. They're, they don't want this and at all, okay. for sure. They don't well, want I can this. Cut all this part <laughs> out. No, no, no. I gotta leave it in there. Just because we. <laughs> it's Hollowbox, world famous German restaurant. If you're looking for more than just your average German fare, if you want a full blown German experience complete with music, cultural, uh, you know, they got all the stuff you can buy. You can go to the market and turn right. your house into Germany if you want to. Magnolia Square Market, and we did uh, the outfitters there. You can get clothing. You can get all the spatzel and all oh, the of the chocolate. It, it's just here's delicious. They brought up a great idea. Uh, Vienna Schnitzel. Valentine's Day are, uh, is Sausages. coming up. You can go there and get yourself a, a picnic basket of German treats, and yeah. you can get some uh, some of that uh, sparkling wine that they have. Yeah. And then you can get uh, some chocolate. Whether it's and- the desserts inside the restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I would do is I would go, go. I, I would get a little takeout, but get like some charcuterie style stuff. You know, get some yeah, stuff yeah. you can share. Then I'd probably hit up the market, maybe get some, you know, little mustards and stuff to kind of pair some with the different sausages German and meats that I have. Yeah, and then I get some treats. I get maybe a couple slices of cake, maybe some. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, you yeah. never know what they're going to have in there. They had some sort of apple uh, oh, pastry, German beers. Uh, yeah, oh, grab yeah. some beer and then just do like a really romantic, almost like a little German picnic type. Yeah. Deal. Look, yeah. I know your wife would eat that. Up. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I'm going. I'm Not hopefully the this weekend. I mean, she's vegetarian, yeah. but you know, 
Uh, my wife's been dying to go to Hollabox for lunch, and I think I'm going to take her there this weekend. If you ask, you going to boat it? Anybody? I may boat over you there. Yeah. Boat it. And uh, if you ask anybody at Hollabox, uh, ask for our uh, pretzel pen. Well, Chef Pat has said to ask for him. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I mean, ask, you can't yeah. ask for anybody, but Chef Pat says, yeah. if he's on, if he's working, to to make sure and say, hey, I'm a BDM, I'm a Tom and Dan listener. Find Chef Pat. It's his way of keeping yeah. us accountable, you know. And you get this free Tom and Dan pretzel pen. Um, and they're great. It's Hollow Box Willow Tree Cafe. Listen to your heart. No. 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 no. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha is live via the Zooms. Hey, Sam. Hey. Uh, my wife took off to go uh, stop, but she's really sweet. She wants to stop by Sideward Brewery here in town. And mm-hmm. get me some of that new OJ IPA All right. that they uh, just put out there. Get me some uh, some beers. Uh, what do you want to do now? You want to jump into some voicemail messages? Yeah, let's do some voicemails and speak. We had of Ross them. booked. I'm not to disappoint you guys, but I think he's out in the woods traipsing around maybe with his family on an adventure. And his uh, Zoom connection was going to be terrible. But uh, fear not. He's gathering stories. So we'll have him next week. I already booked him back. So... We'll have him uh, next week to talk a little bit. What you drinking over there, homie? I, uh, I'm going to try some of this. Uh, These are good. Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzers. Oh, um, so jealous. <laughs> Sorry. Sam, you want me to run some by? No, I'll just order ABC delivery. I got a Miller Lite right now. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, old you know. Old Miller Lite. Yeah, I mean, it does, the, it does the trick, and I'm not anti. Yeah. I got to get better at that. that I'm really good. not anti any beers because, and I can't be. There are pe- plenty of people that are. But I've never had, if I go to your house, you hand me a Miller Lite, I'm not going to be like, yuck, I'm not that guy. Mm. My, my cheap beer is Coors. My new go-to here is this garbage right mm. here, and I love it. This is so sweet. This lemon is clutch. Mm. These Mike Hard Lemonade Seltzers, the the flavors, like I now, said, the White Claw Company, obviously, actually, uh, White is Claw Mike's Heart Lemonade. is Mike's yeah. Heart Lemonade Company, but uh, they just do flavors better I than I had a guy that doesn't it. believe me on that. Mark Anthony Brands. Yeah, yeah, I had a guy that was like literally sure. like fighting me on it, and I'm like, well, you just, it's right here yeah. on the old wiki. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, But this one, the lemon, do me a favor, Tom, because I'm still, I'm only really drinking on Fridays when we have these, but can you do me a favor and mix w- this one with a White Claw Lemon? Oh, the lemon on lemon. Lemon, but this because I think it might lemon be perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I did that. Oh, that's my, my, turns uh, into reggae. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> all we had to do is uh, talk lemon on lemon, and next thing you know, we got Marshall from Cashed Out playing his uh, reggae drums. We'll get to that. We have a new song from Cashed Out. We'll play a little bit later. Um, you want to do voicemail messages? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I'm a little uh, discombobulated today. If you want to do uh, mail on mail and voicemail messages. You can, uh, well, the easiest way is one eight four four T O M N D A N. You may not have a smartphone. So the easiest way to leave us a message is to call that number and leave us a message. Um, if you can you, also text BDM to that number, and then it opts into our text service. Uh, we've got some uh, big announcements, hopefully, coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we might be able to pull something off, uh, but mm-hmm. we'll uh, we'll let all BDMs and uh, text everybody that's pull involved in the texting service. So uh, that, I'm, that's I'm really I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. I, it, it's it, this one is hard for me not to. Yeah. Um, anyway, hopefully, yeah, we'll yeah, see. Hopefully. Hey guys, thanks for calling 1-800-HOT-DICK, the place to find real action with real men. To make it even better, you've got new low prices. So low, we're practically giving it away free. If you are a man seeking a woman, press 1. If you are a woman seeking a man, press 2. If you are a man seeking a man, press 3. Male on male. Mail on Mail brought to you by SecuredRoofingAndRestoration.com. Go on the front page, uh, request a free roof estimate, and uh, we will send you a gift. And uh, that's all you have to do. Also, they've got uh, financing available. They've got a promotion going on where you can get up to $500 credit if you get a complete roof replacement. Um, You could use that credit towards gutters. They do that as well. Um, They've got a lot of uh, really cool... Uh, promotions just for Tom and Dan listeners. So make sure to tell them you're a Tom and Dan listener and uh, 
Go get a roof. Indeed. Um, let's start mail on mail with Samantha because I forwarded her a few emails. I mean, obviously, we're a little discombobulated. Let's start with uh, emails, Sam. All right. Let me find that one. <clears throat> okay. So it says, hey, show. I had to share my story because it's eerily similar to Sam's. By the way, Sam, my heart is out to you. I wish Travis a speedy recovery. My husband had COVID right around Thanksgiving time. His case wasn't as bad as Travis's by the sound of it, but there were times where it got pretty dicey. So he was sick for about three weeks. During that time, he and I had a total of four tests each, two rapids followed by two PCR tests. His results were positive for the first three tests and negative on the last one, but mine were all negative. We never, le- we never socially distanced. We ate together, hung out, and watched movies together, and we slept in the same bed. We don't have much space in our house, so distancing really wasn't an option anyway. But yeah, somehow, some weird way, I never got it, and we can't explain it. I've heard a lot of those stories based yeah. on your story. Obviously, like we've said before, it's uh, everybody's different. Uh, everybody's biology is different, so it's going to be different across the board. But I definitely heard that uh, uh, you know that a lot of people had a similar experience than you did. So it's uh, yeah, it's crazy. I've had a lot of people reach out to me with with kind of the same situation. It's at the point where I'm just like I don't I don't know nobody knows I don't why, either, yeah. <laughs> what are we you know we could talk about it in circles for a million years at uh, fucking all over the place uh, just move on do what you need to do and yeah. then you know and uh, but there's no rhyme or reason to a lot of it it's um, crazy which makes sense because nothing has is a finite anything right <laughs> nothing that has any law or rule that you're like. Uh, when you're dealing with humans, they always do this. Yeah. So it's, it's always different. So it's like, of course it's different. Anyway. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. Um, let's try this one right here. Hey, Tom and Dan. I wanted to ask a question. Or not really a question. I'm pretty fucked up right now. Okay, so there it is. God, you guys talk about That's real fun. men a lot. And I've become obsessed with real men between the ages of... You know, thirteen to twenty-three. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Hold on a second. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, what are you saying, man? (laughs) (laughs) It's a weird age. I know I'm completely (laughs) fucked up, but I'm obsessed with these thirteen to twenty-three-year-old weird real men. (laughs) What's an odd (laughs) range of age? No, just them. Why did he say that? Oh, sweet, sweet, (laughs) thirteen to twenty-six. Oh, that's twenty-seven. Too old. Thirteen, twelve, too young. The, it's almost the age range that I'd never even yeah. consider for are the real people men. I don't care about. Those are like kids, right? Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, I know after 18, but still, it's like the young people. Anyway, all right. All right. Keep well, going, sir. You're digging a hole. And um, I want to know real woman. I want to know the stats of real woman. Like, what does a real woman hmm. do? I know real. There are no real women. <laughs> What? 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 Well, what? There's an element. I mean, which way do you want to go? There's with real that? men, and, and uh, then there's old prairie whores. Do you want to go? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Do you, do you want to go the definition that would come from a real man? Because I'll go that oh, route. Can I give an hmm? example, and then you tell me if this uh, qualifies me? Oh, okay. Yep. So we will allow it because we're real men. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We allow no, you to now speak. Now a real man would say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a uh, real man, if you said, uh, hey, uh, guys, I don't, uh, a woman, no, no, no. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, sometimes you get you get drunk and you drop a bottle of wine in your kitchen <laughs> with no shoes on and you step on the glass and a shard of glass gets stuck in your heel and then instead of going to the hospital, you decide you're going to sit in the tub like an old cowboy, bite your husband's wallet with a with a uh, jar of whiskey, and take a couple shots before he yanks it out of the bottom of your foot. Does oh, that oh, make yeah. me a real woman? Yeah, that's, that's some yeah, Cassidy that's, Danger. That's definitely up there. Yeah. There's a Venn diagram with hobo in there as well. Though. <laughs> yeah. You know, because the wine yeah. and the. the you know. I mean, it was in my own house. You can oh, yeah, submit that to Shard. Week this year <laughs> when we do that for ladies where they drop their wine uh, in the kitchen. The uh, yeah, I think, yeah, no, I think you have to him. put that on the list. Listen, I've known plenty of women that are more real man than I am. Um, real women though, like I'm watching that show. Not to bring it up again, and with an E, and there's a character in the show who is a prairie woman. 
Yeah, oh, and yeah. she does not wear makeup. She wears a skirt, and then she wears like this really cool like leather corset y thing around her stomach. It's almost like it serves a purpose to keep her like active. And man, I swear to God, this old lady, she's having headaches and she's falling down because she's having headaches. And then finally, her brother has to tell her to take the train three cities down the state to go to an optometrist to correct her eyes. And she says, no, she's just going to tough it out, have the headaches and fall into a mine shaft. That's a real woman. (laughs) Right? If you if you think about it, like back in the day and age where we uh, like almost classify all men as being somewhat real men, like if you go back into the uh, like nineteen twenties, like there will be blood and stuff. You start looking at everybody, and you're like, well, well everyone was more hardened. <laughs> yeah, like basically everybody is a real man. Or all woman. natural births, no, <laughs> yeah. uh, you, know. you know, twisted oh, yeah. movies I'm, in our twist chat room. Well, not only that, if when you got pregnant, you had a fifty fifty chance of living. Like yeah. it's, 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 that was a baseline. Like, well. <laughs> 50% chance of living. Everybody, yeah. And then, looks, the man's fine. If you do live through it, bad it's going to be bad. <laughs> Real bad. You know, Twisted Movies in our Twitch chat room said something that's kind of interesting. He said, the thing is, most real women have a lot in common with real men. Well, there, there's a lot of crossover there. Like, no, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. even in well, that show I'm watching, people become less of like... Now, what I mean by that is this woman, and there, it's a brother-sister team that own the farm. Ah. Uh. There's not much difference between the two of them in looks, in the what they Except do. Except for their genitalia, yeah. Exactly. But they're executing yeah. the same sort of jobs, you know, like farms, horses, men this, men that, you know, pluck this, you know. Yeah, it, yeah. It, there's no real difference there. So maybe they, in, a, in a strange way, we have almost perpetuated the stereotype that a real man would be more chauvinist to the real woman, but maybe he wouldn't be. Maybe it almost reaches a point where it's almost non-binary in that yeah. I don't care who you are, if you can work mm. hard, you're coming with me. Yeah, they're peers. Yeah, maybe it's just a work hard thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know they're, what I mean? They're like, chauvinist to the, your wife asses. or your wife when you get home, who's also... but she's not kept. Yeah, But she's also doing the uh, horrible, like, you know, oh like with God. the kids like and all that. Like a cauldron. Those, all, yeah, all this, there's some cauldron involved and uh, all this other <laughs> shit. And then, uh, which is horrible work, but you, for whatever reason, the real man doesn't respect it as much because he looks at it like, oh, that's a woman's work. Marilla, that's oh. her name. Yeah, Marilla. Yeah. And Anna Green Gables. Yeah, she's badass. Um, let's I do really another uh, voicemail. All right, let's try. I'll get rid of Stop. Oh, I'll get rid of that guy because he wasn't done. But you know, we get the gist oh, of what okay. you were saying. Um, let's try this. Oh my God! Hi guys. I uh, just wanted to say this week's BDM show without Sam was friggin' hilarious, and I love Sam. But you guys went really out there. All over the the place, (laughs) and uh, it was super funny. What? Oh, does he mean last week? Yeah, the one that you weren't on. He just said that we were stupid acting. And he, and he liked it, but he wasn't dissing on you if, if you couldn't hear that. That's, uh, I mean, he could have just said that show was funny without mentioning me. He could have, but, it, it, but that's why he came back. I, when I wasn't there. That's fine, sir. I think it slipped out. It was a real man show. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, that, <laughs> me, me and Daniel, we've talked about this before. It's, uh, but like, random that when we get really stupid and start going off into tangents, it literally just happens. There's no way to replicate it. No, no. way to be like, let's start it. Let's do the we thing. Try. We and try. And it do just it. happens uh, randomly and it's there's no mindset. rhyme or reason. It's a ridiculousness. It's a mindset. It's a craziness that just and sort of happens, you know? It's, um, I, I equate it to like, you know, when they're, someone looks at an athlete or something and they're like, why isn't he doing the thing? That got you know like why isn't he doing the thing yeah. that I want him to do that wins and it's like I don't know why why isn't he doing it? I I don't think he even knows like it's just random happenstance yeah. like perfect uh you know right place right time things that are happening I don't know There's, I have no idea I've tried to figure it out for years like what gets us into that particular place that uh you know that we know it could be the craziest or the most funny but and there's and no it's, other- it's also like you, we record so much. 
that it's like, well, sometimes you have good shows, sometimes you have good segments, sometimes you don't. You no, well, that's, yeah, I yeah. mean, Norm kind of nailed it. He's like, you know, you guys go into the same tangents with Sam there anyway. He's like, you didn't know where Mike was off for 20 minutes. Norm, you're right. We go into these <laughs> tangents, like, I, like doing this show, that's a great example, though, of how weird doing the show is or, or what doing our job is. I mean, there are times that I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. Like, I'm just like talking to you about some <laughs> yeah, stuff, yeah, and then I'm like, "Oh my god, yeah. what am I? What do I need to do?" Like, I oh, right. plenty of days. I'm like, "What did we just say?" I'm like, "I think it was really bad." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that, I, I, but I, I mean, bad for everybody involved. Anyway, um, uh, Kermit, we haven't heard from him in okay. a minute, so <gasps> here he is. I was listening to a Friday Free Show, and you were talking about. Oh man, hmm. I have missed that tone. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. let's have a Friday free show. Uh, the new Xbox, Daniel. The new Xbox, Daniel. Don't feel bad because I got the new PS5 and was. Oh, that's when he had the controllers plugged in. I think we played Kermit. Oh, okay. Uh, let's move on to this one, right? Sorry, here. Kermit. Sorry, so sad to say that. Uh, let's try uh, this one right here. Hey, guys. Listening to BDM show today, and you guys talking about. Tom's kids watching Star Wars. I just gotta say, goddamn fellas, uh, it's crazy to me that you're that afraid to let your boys think that somebody died in a space movie, a space wizards movie. Uh, I mean, do they have they ever watched Big Hero Six? The big brother dies in that. Have they ever seen uh, Moana? The, the grandma dies in that. I mean. People die in movie in Disney movies. Do you make up some bullshit with that too, or do you just tell yeah, them? Hey, it's violent, dude. People it's die like sometimes. Natural it's causes it's and shit. Yeah, well, this, hold on. Well, this guy's mad at you, Tom. Moana's grandma turned into the goddamn ghost stingray. Ray. Yeah, yeah, she didn't see. really die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a ghost stingray, and she's roaming the yeah. ocean. So, and yeah. you don't see her die, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's you, not violent. Yeah, she's right. Not, I, I that's the love difference. you. Yeah, it's not like the grandma from Moana gets a laser to blow her old gray Polynesian hair off. Uh, uh, now, I'd watch the shit out of that. And then massacre's uh, children. If you want to kill any grandma, laser the grandma from Coco just for me. Because <laughs> I hate that bitch. <laughs> Fuck that lady. I, uh, mean, I, mean. They, I've, they have the understanding that certain people die. And, I think and, this is more for you. No. I think this the, the, the amount of anger yeah. this guy has for this is unwarranted. You yeah, don't to do it because... We're well, still well, young. It's a dude. conversation that you don't even want to have. Who would want to have that conversation? If you ha- do, you want me? If anybody asks me, do you want to talk to your daughter again about your mom dying? The answer is no. I do <laughs> not. The topic of death is not a number one, two, and three topic in the Dennis household. So why would you ever want to explain death to a child? It's so that, terrible. Well, so it's not uh, weird, and you, I think I'm making them have some sort of complex or not understand. Like, Do you it, think it, you are? I don't think uh, you are. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? <laughs> I said, no one, well, that I agree with. No one thinks I know what I'm doing, but no. uh, I just try to shield it, like, you know, make up a story, like, oh, they fainted, whatever. If I throw that in there, I'm thinking, <laughs> You're like, well, maybe the trauma <laughs> of this character that they watched and loved that they died. Like, I don't want. Maybe that's going to be I too just young. Said <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm like, are they too young? I don't. Know. It I seems like they're, young. they're all robots. Like, I, like, like uh, Maisie came down and I was playing uh, Cyberpunk, which she should definitely not watch. It is hyper violent, <laughs> and she's like, "Are you killing those guys?" And I was like, "They're robots." And she's like, "So that's oil?" I'm like, "Yeah, totally oil." <laughs> Break crazy. That guy's oil. Yeah. There is oil hosing out of his <laughs> neck, and it is whipping. Oh, it's bad. And I just say it's just oil from a robot. And by the way, when Big Hero Six brother runs into the building and explodes, I'm like, "Maybe he got out the back door." <laughs> like, I throw, I throw that. Out. Maybe he did. Nobody knows. You know, sir. Yeah, Do you know right. that his fucking oh, body was exploded? Oh, no, Vaporized. Yeah. I want to fist bump you so bad. Maybe you got out the back door. It's fucking awesome. I don't know. I'll throw it out there because you. Uh, we don't know for uh, sure. Yeah. Com- it's up for interpretation. Yeah, put a conspiracy theory. They in do there. this all the time where they don't actually show the character dying, so they can possibly bring them back when the you know when the series is dying later on. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. so like he didn't actually die. Oh, uh, Mufasa definitely died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, anyway, so uh, yeah, sir. I don't know what the hell Ooh, is that one. That was a rough one. What Lion King? Mufasa, yeah, yeah. I, my son. I watched did, that as a kid, and that scene made me cry. They watched that. I didn't even like my dad. <laughs> uh, they they Rough. did. 
they watched it and they weren't that affected by it. You know which why? I got I, scared. Neither was Maisie. I think it's I was the, like, oh no, my god. I think it's the two D animation. Um, oh, not as lacks the, like it, it's almost like the other animation is like. I don't know. It's like secretly there's like subliminal emotions within the yeah. other one. The the old one, it's like it doesn't. It looks like a, it's like I handed her an old magazine from like 1990 or something. You want to tough them up? Wrong. Let them watch a uh, uh, watch uh, Thomas J off of My Girl get killed by bees. That'll fuck. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh yeah, that's rough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we. I don't think we've watched too many. Not too many heavy things. Although Andrea and Maisie are reading. Like what you read is always more spicy. Than a movie, just because people, I feel like authors, and if you are a writer, you feel like you can get away with more. Like they're reading Babysitter Club, the graphic novels, and they deal with divorce. Jesus. They deal with mom and certain mom and dads dying. And I sit there and I listen to it. And Andrea just, I mean, I guess she knows what she's doing. I just kind of sit there and I'm, you know, thumbs up. And- but you know what? I just realized, like, I'm uh, trying to shield my sons from having, doing the wrong thing, obviously. Because then, like, this morning, Crystal br- opens up a sheet of paper from, like, stuffed in their uh, backpack. And they're like, oh, you're learning about this person. It was, like, their first black girl to go to an all-white school in, like, Mississippi okay, during, yeah. uh, you know, uh, segregation. Sure. And then, mm-hmm. and then and then Tom is like, yes, they they were yelling at her, the adults and the kids. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, like, uh, like, and he was just telling, because the teachers just teach this, of course. The, As like, they should, yeah. This is what happens. Oh, they teach this the is, real know, stuff. The, Maisie came home and, t- and told us that Martin Luther King got shot. Oh, yeah. They, oh, my boys did, yeah. too. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I knew that, but I'm like, oh my god, why did you know that? It is, yeah, like, <laughs> know, like, like Maisie goes, do you know about they Martin? They shot him? She said that, she goes, do you know about Martin? And I was like... Great 90s sitcom. Yeah, and I was like, Gina! You know, like, I was all in. And she's like, no, and, and she brought him a book called Martin's Big Dream, and yeah. she's like, Martin Luther King, he wasn't allowed to play with some of the white kids, and then they shot him. That's what she told me. You're like, like, oh my God. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you put it like that. <laughs> you know, to a kid, you're like, from what? the mouth of babes, right? I mean, she, there, she, has to be, there has to be a happy medium here, right? Because, no, but like, that's I feel Sam. Like when we were younger, they kind of like whitewashed a lot of shit. No, Sam, and now they're like, oh, they're, they're going the hard at five years old. No, you don't want to whitewash stuff. That's the problem. All the right. history is that's white history. No, I'm saying right now, like, like, Maisie didn't pull any punches. She's like, they wasn't allowed to do the stuff he wanted to do, and they killed him. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. And then when a kid says, they're like, what the fuck is wrong with humans? <laughs> My God. Yeah, yeah when they uh, say horrible it, people. It, I, I think it has more of an impact. If everybody that knew that Martin Luther King Day was coming around heard a small child say what actually happened, maybe you'd maybe you'd give a damn more. You know, maybe mm. it wouldn't just be a day off to you or something. Yeah. I don't know. You're right. right. It's like really weird. <laughs> um, what's the uh, next email, Sam? She may not have any. Oh, I have. Wait, I actually do. I found another one that someone sent me that says a wholesome email. Hey, show. I thought I'd circle back around to a topic that's been sporadically covered off and on for a few years now. Hot dog condiments. <laughs> for the majority of my life, I've been a mustard and ketchup guy. But one day a few months ago, I was out of ketchup on a hot dog night <laughs> and my life changed forever. A 100 percent all be frank with a zigzag of mustard is the way to go. I'm not sure if it's because the sugar in the ketchup was overpowering the hot dog flavor or what, but it tasted so much better with just mustard. I'm sorry I waited so long to embrace this way of life and will do my part to spread the word going forward. Yours in Christ, Ryan. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, you got to just put mustard on there. Put, yeah. You put ketchup and mustard, it's I a baby. I hate so. mustard, oh, though. I only eat mustard on a Cuban. Oh, chili, give, give me it all. Well, yeah. mustards are, I mean, like, I it's think for... that mustard was originally engineered to complement the spices that would be used and in sausage. sausage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it was made for. 100%. The, the ketchup, to me, I mean, it made it for works. potatoes, I yeah, feel like. Whatever, whatever you like. I mean, yeah, I think ketchup was. Made for potatoes. I mean, yeah. When I was a kid, I ate a mustard ketchup hot dog. As I've gotten older, I go into mustard. Now, you have a pretty particular palate. There's certain things you don't like. Like, you don't like... Do you like pickles? You like pickles, Sam. I do like pickles. You don't like mustard. Don't like mustard. I will will eat a honey mustard, but not the deli yellow mustard, unless it's a Cuban. What about a spicy mustard? Deli mustard? No. Okay. 
Is there anything, some type of food, that if it touches your other food, you refuse to eat it? Because that makes me so mad. Clam when juice. I, adults. When <laughs> I was younger, yes. I when I was younger, juice. yes. But now as I've gotten older, no. Okay. Like, I, I hate bacon, but if something comes with, like, bacon or, like, bacon bits on it, I'll just eat it. I know a guy right. that hates tomatoes so much that he uh, acts like a baby, and it was always embarrassing. You know him, too. I won't uh, blow up a spot. Oh, no, but, I uh, blast him. Um, it's uh, just Clark from Cigar City. Oh, I, I, was <laughs> right. I was right. And oh, yeah, he'll start crying. Knock him down a peg. Knock him right. down a peg. And he, I've <laughs> seen him at a regional brewer's and meeting he, burst into tears. So he was like, I will not crying. eat this. I'm like, just throw it away. Eat it. You're a yeah, grown then man. He, then he's like, I need a yeah. manager. Do you know who I am? I'm the CFO. And Crystal won't do it. She'll, if some cucumber touches her thing, she then won't eat it. I'm like, don't. Just throw it out. Didn't she eat say it like she was baby. allergic? Oh, yeah. She yeah. tried to say something. I'm like, no one's allergic to cucumber. And we found out that's true. Some that, people are. No, 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 no. Actually, no. They're only allergic to what the cucumber absorbed. So there's no one that's actually allergic to the actual cucumber. Oh, I love cucumbers. I, we we dismissed that. We myth busted that. That it, it is a thing. Well, but it, I looked it up after, and it was what? <laughs> oh, so oh, mm. I went on 4chan. I, <laughs> I found my own truth <laughs> to justify what, what everybody does. Okay, get my horns. Uh, what, are we, uh-huh. what do we got next? Okay, <laughs> hold on. Oh, shit. Uh, let's try this one right here. Oh, hold on. I got to mm. open this a special oh, way. No. Open with this guy. Hopefully this is as good as I think it's going to be. Hi, guys. Uh, I just wanted to say this week's BDM. Oh, it's the same guy that hates Sam. Uh, <laughs> try this guy. Aww. Calm, Dan. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Sam. Travis? Travis. Uh, BDM Mike. Hey, what's up, guys? Listening to the BDMOG show, can we get Ross's horny book review in 2021? I don't know what you got to work out in the contract with Tots. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys should figure that shit out because uh, that is a genius idea. Don't know why. Remember, uh, do you remember Ross's horny book review? No. I don't really either, but it sounds good. I mean, maybe what? we could ask him if he remembers it. I think it's where we were going to have Ross read. Uh, spicy books and then give us reviews on them. Oh, like uh, romance novels? Yes. Uh, okay, that's uh, stupid. Uh, like that. Then, those, <clears throat> they can't, they're horrible, right? Uh, yeah. Like, I don't how, really does know. anybody like the story of romance novels? It just, they like the fact that they get horny a little bit or something, right? That's the. Some people, the, some to some people, it? words are just as. Maybe will make you just as horny as like looking at yeah. uh, a figure or a, no, I know, I know. You know, to some but, people like certain art, but the reading, like but me. even just like it doesn't even have to be like uh, like smut. It could just be like a romance novel, which yeah. is like a love story. Yeah, which not, a lot of girls are get turned on just by that by the romance. I know you don't know what romance is, Tom, but mm. some of them. You know, it's their thing. I mean, I will but, say that I don't necessarily like. I love the Notebook, the movie. I don't I, I mind a rom- a book, right? I don't mind romance if done well. Uh, you know, I don't mind it. It's not going to be the first thing I pick, but I got to say that you know there are certain movies when they're done correctly, like a You Got Mail or something like that. And I, I'm showing my age, but if that's romance, yeah, I like that. That's a good. It's a happy story. It's it's fun. I don't think the Notebook would be considered a romance novel. I'm talking about like the Fabio. Why not? Well, it, yeah. it's a, is it, that is literally a romance novel. Yeah, yeah. I think you're, that's all it is. You're thinking about like, like the smutty stuff. Yeah, like you're thinking Shades like Harlequin romance, which is yeah. more yeah. about yeah. like bulging muscles and boners. Hold on, bro. That, but that's called a love story, the Notebook, not a romance novel. I because I think romance you, again. You don't know what romance is. <laughs> well, I think romance. You think romance is sex. Well, I think romance novel has a genre of that. Fabio, uh, shirt open on a horse. That yeah, that's kind of Harlequin. cheesy. We gotta, yeah, Harlequin. We, we got to talk to Orange book. County Library System to, to describe genres to you. <laughs> I, uh, I well, I've never heard anybody call a, like a notebook or something a romance novel what? or romance movie. Uh, Literally, been, that is the genre. I think it's on Netflix. Look at the Netflix a, uh, rating. It says romance. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Har- Har- Harlequin <laughs> is Toronto-based. They published a series of romance and, Har- and, and women's fiction. Harlequin was owned by Torstor Corporation. Um, they may not be around anymore. 
but I know they still have those books because I remember I would walk over to the magazines to look at Mad Magazine and Cracked Magazine, and then to the right for the dads you would have Louis Lamore, Louis Lamore like Western books, right? So all the cowboy novels were at Winn Dixie or Publix for the dads, and then dads never bought that. Yeah, they didn't care about that. And then for the moms, you had the Harlequin romance, which was like your Fab Fabio's, your pirate, you know, uh -huh, barrel-chested yeah, yeah, yeah. man, you know, who and happens to heaving bosoms, that sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, Always clean shaven too. Yeah, yeah, for the most part, it. It's just bizarre. Like, the, you like it because, and I'm talking about those particular, the cheesy ones, and it's because of the feeling it gives you, not necessarily the story, or is it because of the story, too? Uh, is it because, like, because it seems to me the story is, is a little cheesy, right? The whole thing is... A it's a little corny. Typically, yeah. Uh, You're thinking erotic novels. Er yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yeah, those are. That's not the same as romance. Yeah, like, right. they had different versions. Harlequin. There's Harlequin American Romance. Harlequin it's literary porn. Yeah, there's yeah. Harlequin Blaze, which was erotica. Harlequin Desire, rich and successful protagonists. Harlequin Historicals, they rooted in some sort of history. Harlequin Romance Suspense, they'd throw a mystery in there. Paranormal Romance, that's when you're fucking a ghost. <laughs> uh, Harlequin <laughs> Presents Alpha Males. That's interesting. Uh, decadent Glamour Jet Setting Lifestyles. Harlequin Romance Suspense, that's another mystery one. Is Paranormal Romance really where you fall in love with a ghost? Well, I, I kind of want to check that There's out. There's like a ghost <laughs> element to it. Like I Ray feel Stance like. getting a blowjob, yeah. yeah. And then the last one is Harlequin Super Romance, a strong emotional punch and a guaranteed happily ever after. Hmm. Speaking of the ghost job um, from oh. Ghostbusters, uh, the it was a, a like a a face you made in the nineties and eighties. Uh, what face do you think you make when you are <laughs> it, it was completing? A, it was a, for some reason, your eyes go. Do cross. you ever look into your wife's They're, eyes as you're going? <laughs> what do you, what or do you look away? I feel like you look away. I feel like when you're finishing your deed, I feel like he looks at the wall. I feel like he looks straight <laughs> up and he closes his eyes and he just like wishes it all away. How am I supposed to remember that? Uh, <laughs> well, like, <laughs> uh, so the what, uh, what do you do? Do what, you look into your no, wife's eyes? Nobody's uh, eyes go no, cross. I don't right? think so. Not, not Sam, all the time. Sometimes I do. Into your husband's eyes during coitus. Uh, 50 50. Yeah, I do a little bit of it too. And then sometimes my wife will give me a look as if, like, she's like, like, I hate it. She's like, gives me the look as if she's proud of me for, like, not pulling my pants down as a young kid at a baseball game yeah. or something. Like, I feel like, she, like, she's proud of me for, like, the easiest thing I ever had to do. She's I, like, look, he's smiling. I'm doing it. I, like, I, I hate it. She's I, like, I'm sorry. I yeah. Do, <laughs> I do the move where, uh, like in movies, when your, uh, your best friend dies and you take your two fingers <laughs> and you, <pull> them, <laughs> and you, you just gently pull, pull their eyes down. I go a little older than that. I go a little older than that. I put two, uh, I two, I put two pence on her eyes. <laughs> and then I nail her shut in a wooden coffin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to take a quick break. What do we got? Uh, more good music. This is awesome, man. This just came out this morning and then we had to have. Butler reach out to Marshall, who plays drums for this band, find out if we would be allowed to play it. So we call it an audible. It's brand new music from Cashed Out. They have a new, uh, a brand new album that dropped this morning. It's yeah. called Casual Encounters. This is good it's at acoustic, getting by. Right? Acoustic, yeah, but really well done. Like in the studio acoustic, not like they just one mic did. It sounds really right. good. So enjoy this. And we'll be back with more on Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan momentarily. 1-844-T-O-M-N-D-A-N or show at TomandDan.com for a last minute email. Waking up in the Pontiac, but not a nice one. Cause I never get gas till the lights on. Hit the laundromat, then the Dollar Tree. Cause I got no beef for Chef Boy. Oh man, the weather is perfect. To be riding my Honda Ruckus, I have a scooter and... I ride it all around Baldwin. The weather is just phenomenal. Yep. The, the yep. wind whipping in my beard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's phenomenal, man. Get yourself a toy. You got to treat yourself, especially uh, if you're looking to do some things uh, that are distant from oh, other yeah, people. Side by side, man. Wait, Seminole Power Sports has it. Walk into the showroom, look at all their side by sides. Their four wheelers, their dirt bikes, their road bikes, their scooters. They got every single thing you could possibly think of. Helmets, riding gear, jackets, oh, yeah. generators, yeah. Yeti. Yeah, they're Yeti cooler dealers. Uh, any yeah. of the Yeti products that you need, they've got. 
scooters. They've got, um, let's see, we've got Yamaha, we've got Piaggio. If you're, you yeah, know, yeah. if you want a Vespa, they do that too. Honda, Honda yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Suzuki's out in. Uh, where's that out in? Uh, Eustis. Yeah, you si- can do Suzuki. The Seminole Power Sports North. They got two different locations. Of course, the regular Seminole Power Sports right there on Reinhardt Road in Sanford. Uh, I've used their service department. They're great. Um, I should just do that. I should just have a full freak out. Mm. And just come home and say, Andrea, I bought an R1. I'm sorry. (laughs) I want to go 200 miles an hour, and you can't stop me. You can, uh, the one over here in Sanford, you could talk to uh, Don if you uh looking for uh, someone to, you know, looking That's uh, where I bought my, buy something. I bought my uh, 2017 Honda Ruckus, haven't had a lick of trouble with it, and bought it directly from Seminole before they were even a client. Yep, it's Seminole Power Sports and Seminole Power Sports North. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha Butler kind of coming in for a landing on this free show Friday. That's Lacero. Yeah, another big name band that we're allowed to play wow. because, yeah, uh, amazing, right? That we are allowed to play brand new songs. I have their brand new record before it's even out. So um, uh, all hats off and some love to Pirates Press Records for letting us play some amazing music. Uh, what do you want to do now, guys? Let's just uh, finish with some dump them out. Uh, right. We got some topics. Uh, uh, now, uh, with you not here, Samantha, uh, last second, <laughs> Daniel and I were like, oh, yeah, the thing. Write the things. Mm-hmm. And then You we, guys told me you were going to send me a list, and then nothing ever happened. No, we yeah, forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. forgot I looked up. I was like, where's Samantha? Well, <laughs> well, we got we weren't everything. even here. <laughs> um, like, until what time did we? Like, 1152 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There was 1152. Then we rushed to call a testimonial that we yeah. forgot. Yeah, and yeah. It, uh, oh, falling God. apart quick. Real quick, yeah, it sounded and a little necrony. Yeah, yeah, I have no taste. You were complaining. Yeah, you, were, you <laughs> can't <laughs> taste yeah, yeah, your. Uh, I got yeah. I got yeah, it. let's uh, let's dump. Let's dump. I'm, uh, I just got a text from my wife, and uh, she went to uh, uh, an oral surgeon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oral. Ah. Anyway, uh, so she... Uh, Is she okay? No, well, yeah, it was a, from her jaw thing, remember? The yeah. mystery jaw? Hey, and uh, good job, buddy. And she, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, hey, mm-hmm, hey, mm-hmm. hey, 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 your wife had to go to an oral surgeon. Hey, <laughs> gave her that TMJ. Yeah, good job, buddy. Chism got the jazz arm. It's, it's like if uh, <laughs> if Frank Gore got a disease and you thought it was from reading, not from reading. I understood every second of that. <laughs> no. I was like, yes. <laughs> Um, okay. Anyway, I don't. Anyway, she's like, "Wow." I it, also we've been in a b- huh? weird mood today, and we were talking about being in a weird mood. And I just took the largest fucking toot. Oh, okay. And uh, I feel amazing. Right now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's God, amazing. That, you know, that is. Uh, why you do people, your medicine? Why do people do that? My, why don't I do it all the time? <laughs> yeah, I know. Ross was right. <laughs> I love you, Ross. <laughs> Paula was right. We should have yelled at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? I take, remember the time <laughs> I told you not to smoke weed at work? Uh-huh. You know, I take that back. <laughs> you can do smoke it. all the weed at work. Back Wait on. a minute. I don't care. Hold on. I like a butler who said, back on like he, he never stopped. <laughs> <laughs> well, he stops right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's let's do some dumping. So um, it, wait, um, where are we going? Oh, with this? I don't know. Well, you now, were supposed to tell me something. Didn't your well, wife now steal just... your truck to build something? Or oh yeah, yeah, she's be- building a wooden chandelier. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Only the poorest people have wooden chandeliers. I love it. Right, I don't this know. Is great. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. She's like some sort of box. Rich people build their chandeliers out of crystals and brass. We're going to build ours out of wood and paper. No, no, no it's, just, it's not even. I guess it's not a chandelier. It's some sort of light box that she's like. Oh, uh, a light box. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm like, what? I'm like, Made out of pom poms. Buy yes. this. <laughs> like, why are you building it? I downloaded the plans last night. 
it's yeah. Orville and Wilbur. <laughs> and, and, then, and then she's like, look, I'm following these plans that I found, and the person put up a uh, blog. Is and, it to storm the Capitol plan? <laughs> <laughs> I seen them. I got loaded by And then I'm looking at the plans, and then, like, uh, it's pictured, you know, the person's doing the blog or whatever. Does the person have on a big hat? Like, no. What are those... But, Americana hats. But the, but John Mayer went through a phase of the Americana hat. But the background of this person's pictures uh, led me to believe that uh, the scenario of this oh. person's house is uh, a, uh, a a shame or a uh, you know what I uh, when I told you about uh, when you have someone that uh, it's unfortunate, yeah, unfortunate, it's very unfortunate. Uh, they're very poor. Yeah. That's, I'm like, why are you doing this? So is she going because you so you guys. <laughs> Where is this going to hang at? Your your it, dining room? It, yes, and she has this whole idea. She's like, Is it made out of two by fours? Over the piano. She made wood. She cut all, she bought wood from Home Depot and then she made this box. And she, it's, it's his whole thing. Like, I, don't ask, don't tell. I told him. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I that's said, right. We're breaking the law. Pl- it's your Actually, thing. I, breaking, I don't say. We're breaking show law. Yeah, yeah. That is a, I mean, we just enacted the new don't ask, don't tell Tom and his wife law, <laughs> where anything that she starts to build, which just sounds like some sort of a strange bird light box concoction. <laughs> it's some is it sort a, just of, a square box? It's some sort of box that she's going to... Is it an old-timey camera where she pulls that <laughs> flap over her head? And, <laughs> you know, when you take a photo, you, you hold the thing, you put the powder on it, you take the cloth, you put it over your head... <laughs> And you know, and then you're like, all right, three, two, one. You have to stand like that for seven minutes. <laughs> it, I, it, Is it a bat house for inside? No, it's Ooh, indoor, indoor bat house. house. That's brilliant. That's some next level. Uh, That's no, no encephalitis I don't there. She's like, vitamin. She's like, I need this box here, and then we're gonna take these IKEA lights. It's it. like a uh, do like uh, a it's a Etsy type of thing where she's like, you. That's a Pinterest thing. Yeah, yeah. or Pinterest. It's a supermarket <laughs> shortcut. <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, you take this, these uh, <laughs> Ikea lights. And it's an you, Ikea hat. Then you hang them from this box that you make yourself. You stain the box, and then it looks like a, oh, I a the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a model. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I didn't know you ask. Uh, you're breaking the rule. <laughs> Why are you telling me? She made me go out and look at it in the garage. Oh, oh no. Oh, That's the last thing you wanted to do. I was just in there. I'm like, yeah. ah, the You should play box for box. Oh, You'll God. look at her box if she'll show you the box you really want to look at. <laughs> mm. I got to jump on it when it gets down to minus three. And I'm just, just like, ah, <laughs> you want to see my project? But God. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what kind of projects do you do? No, no, no projects. <laughs> that you know, I don't want to do wife nothing. Is a regular Ron Swanson around there with the woodworking she does? She, I'm kind of um, proud of her. I think it's kind of neat. No, 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 it's not neat. And if you showed an ounce, just an ounce of just maybe propping her up or supporting her on one of these oh, things, okay. man, can you uh, even no, imagine no the length yeah, of the blowjob you would get? Yeah, up and down, Sam, chef. Sam, what say no. you, fine Sam? If 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 Tom Van went out there and he helped hold the two-by-fours and help build the light box... Would I you dare, suck his dick? I didn't know. I just get the feeling that he'd get more blowjobs if he were more yes. into the light boxes. Yeah, you gotta be supportive. The problem is, I... The problem is the light box is a dumb idea, and I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, do yes, you know how many dumb I ideas can't... I go along with to get blowjobs? Because you always make fun of me, and you're always like, ah, Mr. Blowjob, Mr. Blowjob. Do you know how much dumb? Do you think I want to listen to Babysitter <laughs> Club fucking fan fiction bullshit? The, it, do you think I like Anne from Green Gables, Tom Van? I don't know how to act. Uh, like you don't have to act. You just have to sit through it. <laughs> no, but then, because like you don't have to say nothing. Hold the two-by-fours. If I act like myself, then I'm a dickhead. And she's yeah. like, what? You're not... Ex- oh, you know... You're, you're going to say it sucks. You got to shut up. And then... If, shut and up. And I only got that. And then if I act excited, I go too... I go Disney excited. I'm no, like, that's yeah. I'm like, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? You're lying. You're, you're <laughs> acting like a dog. Uh, get the fuck out of here. He's also wearing a black and white striped costume. And he's like dancing. Like, Jack is kind of like I have, there's no in between. I can't Tom, legitimately. You gotta, you gotta start taking acting classes or improv classes. No, oh, I to, hate that. You, you, you're like either ultimate negative or like way too Disney Hold positive. On. You gotta get in the middle. There. I'm gonna try. How, know. how do you act when you're um, a THC when you're dialed in? 
Like well, if you're then work- I'm trying to act normal so my wife doesn't know. <laughs> okay, that's not going to no, work. Then. I was going to say, I'm uh, mad or trying to act normal <laughs> so that she doesn't get mad at me for being okay, high. I, huh? I thought I had a brilliant idea because I was going to say, if you could just get to the perfect level of medicated where you can just kind of maintain and just be there where you can suppress that level of hatred you have for her light box <laughs> but you, and not open your, your, your mouth. <laughs> it, well, can't it just be a nothing? Well, why did can't you say no, no, you, you, said you can't be a dickhead? You said that if you walk out there, you're going to see it and you're going to be like, well, that's fucking stupid. No, I'd never say that. I just, well, you're going to say, she, well, then how would you be a dickhead then? Show me. Well, because I go out there and she's like, I put glue. I'm like, oh, cool. And then she's like, I put this like, together. That's I'm like, it? No, no, no. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. And then she's like, you're just acting you know, like you're interested. <laughs> because I, she knows it. I am. Because that's what I'm doing. That's when you follow up like, I love you. <laughs> no, you just got to go yeah. out there. I feel like I, just don't I am say starting anything. to believe, Tom, where there is a no win situation. Here. So this whole thing no is win. fucking doomed. Don't tell me that. I got to hold this together for 15 more years. No, 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 I no. no, no I no. feel like when he tries, it's. it's I'm not going to be able to do Tom and Dan 2.0 <laughs> no, when he's I'm driving never... over here single on a motorcycle <laughs> with his leather vest on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Some girl. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to run her up the street to get some meth, man. Where, uh, this, <laughs> no, no. 20 years of this is all, that they, that's all we know. Uh, the, the, there's no. Uh, getting... Why don't you guys go to couples therapy and and figure out like how to communicate? So me and Tom, oh. I'm not going to that shit. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and also, got a you know, what if I just start sucking your dick? Also, I'll start talking to the therapist, and then I'll get him on my side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I do for you guys. That's what I, I do. do because this is you a, should hear how you what should I hear tell my therapist, you therapist. motherfuckers. Because if she told you what uh, her point of view is, you would feel very. Very, very bad for her. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I know a bit of her point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, am yeah. your work wife. Imagine I that ten times worse because when yeah. I get home, it uh, it gets worse, and then uh, I'm, you know, it, you know, I'm very annoying. Uh, I'll start telling. Oh, believe me, I'll tell you all my business ideas, my theories. Uh, you it, do that anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, at yeah, least yeah. You're, At least you're not the guy. I do from, it ten uh, times, tenfold. Guess what I watched last night, oh. and I realized that I am that character. I'm just a podcaster. There will be blood. Oh, you watch that? I'm that guy. I'm what's his name? Jonathan Plainview. Or I'm the guy. I'm like uh, I've uh, you know I've abandoned my boy. I'm that guy. <laughs> no, You're yeah. making me say it so I can get your fucking land. I'm the guy. Yeah, but I'm that guy, and I'm and I keep calling you a bastard in a basket as you walk out, and I can't stop screaming. <laughs> you gotta get some. No, other I'm not that guy. Dude. You're but hitting the what? guy. You're, hit, a, you're hitting the religious nerve. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> is, that's my favorite part. By the way, when there will be blood, real man. So Starts hitting the religious nerd. I laugh every Tom, time. I'm I, sorry. Watched, I watched that last night at like 1.30 in the morning, oh, Lord, and that's what I went to bed to. That's shot, a horrible way to go. He to rubs bed. his face in the mud. Oh, it's <laughs> bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, oh, I've got a passion inside me. So I saw this meme yesterday, and uh, I laughed at it a little bit because uh, have you guys ever seen memes where they start listing out numbers, right? And then someone is uh, reposting it or whatever to try to like. You know, prove their point or be like, look at this. And, uh, and I w- uh, believe me, I'm not going to get uh, any sort of political at all. But uh, the meme was about, um, and, and the, I guess the essence of the meme was to uh, get across that maybe shutting down all the football programs uh, was worse for the players than the coronavirus was. Sure, or, you yeah, know, there's yeah, that yeah, argument yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And then so this meme was like, uh, you know, talking about California, like California shut down uh, 105 uh, you know, football programs, blah, 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 and like look at the repercussions, and then it was like a list of of things that happened to the players because it got shut down, <laughs> okay. and then the, end, the oh, bottom yeah. was like, was well, it worth it? Anyway, so I'm, 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 I'm like, oh look at, I'm like, what's this? So that's what I get excited I, about. I like, this meme. you know what I do like <laughs> when you present a meme to to me. As much as I know you, you're a meme dad now. No, I hate no him. but Sam, as much Stupid as I know he hates memes, and you know he hates memes, when he, he presents us, when he presents a meme to us, you're really good at. I guess is this even considered to me? It was just like a uh, you know stats on a infographic. Thing, infographic. Anyway, so that's it, a meme. It started well. going through like uh, this many players dropped out, and this many, and then it got down to <laughs> it's just like, it, uh, and I actually wrote down the numbers. Oh, and, you did? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like sixty four players incarcerated, and I'm like. I'm, and that's where got me like, how would they know that? And then the next one was uh, eight, 
85 players join gangs. And then I'm like, yeah, well, that, one, then I'm, that one's hard to confirm. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, like it's dipping your toe into a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and also, I started laughing about, like, uh, and then, of course, everybody is agreeing on the, the comments, but I started That's laughing about it. for. I was like, what did they, like, why did Frank quit? And let's call him up. And then you call Frank, and he's like, uh, I'm in the uh, Latin Kings now. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. mark one more for gangs. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how would you know that? Like, no, because it, it's bullshit. Of course oh, it is. Yes. Of course it is. And then, and then it was like, uh, and then the next one, the last one was like, uh, 15 players uh, became fathers. <laughs> so it was also like, it's, a, it's a little racist, <laughs> yeah, but also a little racist yeah. too. Like, I'm not, hey, listen, you know why? Any, because of uh, the whole thing was meant to be ridiculous. All, and a little bit of tinge of racism in there, and That's also, uh, why doesn't anybody look at these numbers and then think to themselves, "Of course, this can't be real." Like, it, it, like, how would people they ever? Are dumb. Uh, uh, I, they're like, it's on the internet. Someone posted it. It's real. Mm. Yeah, um, there is a lot of that. Anyway, um, so Daniel, what do you want to talk about WWE? Oh no, I just you know I know that you like when we this this one not it's not like a some sort of hilarious story or something, but the WWE uh, you know kind of I guess mergers that I saw this week they're streaming kind of the moves they've been making in streaming content is something that I thought you know you and I would find very very interesting in the fact that they have deals now with USA with Fox. And now currently with Peacock or NBC. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever seen a company move in this many directions. If we, You know, if we're playing chess, you're a brand new piece that has brand new rules because the old rules of moving lateral, vertical, you know, like, no. WWE is just going wherever they want to and making the deals that they want to. And personally, I feel like this is a game changer, and I feel like a lot of other companies will, yeah. will follow suit. It's odd to me. Remember... Tom, when you and I couldn't mention any other radio show on the air because, God forbid, you mentioned the competitors. Remember all these weird yeah, rules? Yeah, yeah, and all, yeah. These rules. It was like, don't talk about it. They'll never so, know. <laughs> so my topic like, that goes along with this, and hopefully I'm not saying something that you would get mad of me for saying, but I don't think so. You literally say anything. Um, we <laughs> wanted to take ACT or corporate time when when um, that other radio station across the street was No, don't say that! No, okay. <laughs> I was joking. Yeah, know. but I'm just saying they, <laughs> we were going to put it on the same we were oh, put Tom the, looked for me. I saw it. He looked in the corner. He did. He, he, <laughs> he was go, we were going to put the same show on Real Radio and then put that same show on this other radio station. Mm-hmm. Why not? Mm. Uh, get, get, right. Put it as many Free places market. as humanly possible and let people grab it wherever they can find it. Yeah, yeah. And this is very similar and way better executed than anything you and I could ever do. But I just think it's really cool. You know, I'm not uh, as much into wrestling as I used to be, and I dip in and out. It's it's, a, it's fun. Maisie likes to watch it sometimes. She likes the girl wrestling. Do you it, think like the NFL might kind of tiptoe in that with the whole Nickelodeon I, thing? You that's know, I mean, kind of what I was uh, thinking. That's a good. That's good, Butler. I never thought they about. Drop the f bomb on Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I mean, if if control, they could have done a better job. Yeah. They don't. They can yeah. do a separate. It was their feed. first time trying it. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to use the same old feed. Come on, NFL, but, you old pieces of shit. You but, know what you're doing. You got more money than anything. Exactly. Right. By the way, ninety nine point nine percent of if you're watching the NFL with your kids, I've heard those kids have oh, heard yeah. you have heard the parents. When your team's losing, you're oh, yeah, cussing yeah, yeah. crazy. But I just thought uh, you would find it interesting. Andrea yeah. actually was the one that flagged it. She's like, Oh my god, she's like I mean, can you imagine 20 years ago, if you'd said that, people would have said, you could never do that. That's oh, impossible. Course, yeah. You could never pull that off. You could never be on Fox, USA, and NBC. N- impossible. Will never happen. I'll, I'll die. Because the old school mentality in media would be exclusivity. The, yeah. the whole thing was always about exclusivity. It's like, this person has exclusive rights, and this is the only place. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what's funny is it's, it's kind of like... Uh, and one aspect, like this old media, is going to broaden and then open themselves up to multiple networks and stuff. And then in the podcast world, they're going more into exclusivity where right, these bigger companies right. are trying to like look at Spotify did with Rogan. Well, they're just evolving. They're evolving yeah. faster, but using the old 
ways to evolve. Yeah, if yes. that makes sense. So yeah. old media is using things that new media are yeah, doing, and then right. new media is doing replicating old media because the, yeah, now the new thing is like these bigger companies want to have exclusive rights to the advertising for one particular mm-hmm. podcast. Spotify did with Rogan and yeah. a bunch of others, yeah. and they're all trying to buy up. And then like, hey, you, we we're only broadcasting. People hate that. I know, I know. And that are into podcasting fucking hate that. Yeah, I know, I know. And then and with Daniel and then what WWE is doing, which is new for yeah. uh, for like a lot of us who are like, hey, we want to open it up so the most amount of people can watch it. And like the NFL has always been like, oh, you can't. And I still think it's like this, which is super, it seems super antiquated and old, where like even getting the NFL Sunday ticket, there's like, in, unless you're a student, you have to go through uh, right. Direct TV or have some sort of Direct TV yeah, involvement. Yeah. It, like you that can't just purchase up, it, though, isn't it? Direct TV and NFL. Yeah, I believe so because yeah. they also did yeah. the Amazon Prime with uh, the playoffs. They allowed a few games on Amazon yep. Prime for free. Here's another oh, thing yeah, that well, I really yeah, they've like. They've been doing that for a couple yeah. years. Look, but the it, thing with the with the, the WWE is like um, all the uh, networks that they're on are NBC affiliates, so not too far from sure. going to the Peacock app, you know what I mean? It's still kind of it's still under the same umbrella. Like yeah, I just I, it's just to me it's just so weird to see a, a company do that. And you can say what you will about WWE or mm-hmm. you may not like the content, you may not like wrestling at all or or think it's dumb or violent or 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 for uh, you know, mouth breathers, but I the one thing I do like about Vince is that it seems like he's never afraid to fail. Like they're getting rid of their app. You know, I have this app. I, I like we subscribe to it because we watch pay per views and we dip in there. You know, the, like XFL. He tried it. It failed twice. Right. You know, like he's not afraid to try those sort of things. Like, and, and normally he's the guy making the headlines or one of the guys making headlines, especially in TV land, of trying things that other people said were impossible. Yeah, yeah I yeah. admire that. Yeah. I don't necessarily think he's the greatest guy, but I do he's admire. He's great at business. Yeah, I, well, I just admire the fact that he tries. You know, I mean, it's, it seems like, you know, we could learn something from that in some weird way. He uh, he has you can you can't argue the fact that this guy has been successful with marketing and producing wrestling for a long time. And it never really fell out of like popularity or you know what I'm saying? I, <clears throat> it has there may have flows. been there may have been some times where it was less popular, but I'm saying like to me over the past twenty or even thirty years, if you look back and it's like, man, he did a pretty good job of keeping it at the forefront of entertainment, right? And being like constantly involved in like new characters that eventually went to uh like bigger roles in movies or whatever. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And like, even bringing in, you know, celebrities or creating celebrities out of wrestlers like The Rock, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then and then also bring them back because they have a good relationship. Like he's he's great at business and business like partners. Yeah. Like Again, that's the only part genius. of him that I'm talking about here because yeah, yeah, like as the chat room is reminding me, there's things there. And typically when you have people like yeah, we're that, not saying he's a good person. Yeah. I mean that's not like, I don't even care. I'm mm-hmm. not talking about that. Um, but yeah, I what think a- he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm you know what? I he is my favorite person. <laughs> I just I look, die on the cell. <laughs> I just like looking up old nineties so, <laughs> oh, super so sexist good. stuff that uh, he did oh, with man. all his, it's just yeah, so, the, the it's one, like oh my god, you know did the it. one that always gets me because he knows so, in the promo that he shouldn't have done it is when. And I don't believe it's Stevie Ray. I think it's Booker T who says the N word in his promo when he's talking about Hulk Hogan. Oh, okay. And yeah. he's like, You listen here. And then he yeah. yells the N word. Yeah. And then everybody in the room is like, But he powered uh, through. Yeah, he did. You have to. <laughs> it. Uh, it, like they have the ability. Some of that's live, though, right? So when they're, riffing, I don't think anymore because oh, like, I don't think okay. anymore. Yeah. yeah, with COVID, you're you're able to now, like with wrestling. Andrew and I, uh, we'll dip in occasionally. I still think their product is presented better than almost any you know sports product you could ever put out there. Better than NFL anything. It's just it's well done. They they'll tape it now because they have the Amway to themselves, or they did. You know, they, um, I think things will start opening up. You know, relatively soon, but yeah. they, they so they had that whole place to themselves. So basically, they kid in a candy store. You could film. They could actually, if they wanted to, they could have put stuff in the can. I think if they wanted to, yeah, yeah, and, and I, still present it as live because how are we going to know? Yeah, I uh, yeah, they did a hundred percent. I mean, they, you in fact, they could probably film a lot of stuff 
and like spend, they should take advantage of that. Yeah, a whole week you could knock out uh, like a month. I, uh, I think they did. I mean, like I would have no way of knowing, and they're probably right. not going to say. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But all Seth. And also, yeah. like, I think they like, connect. It's, that would be hard to keep things under wraps. Like, it, it would leak out, like, the endings of things. Right? Sure, like, yeah. you, with that much staff, and the, you got, like, the sound guy. Or and they whatever. still wanted to yeah, keep it. Yeah, but it's it all pre written anyway, right? So, I mean. Yeah, but they don't like that when something gets leaked and people know the ending beforehand. You see what I'm saying? I think that, that right? It's you don't want no, disclosures no, no. and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, no, you don't want of, that. That's no, that, what I'm saying. Yeah. Just that would ruin. Uh, non disclosures. And in some yeah, of the but... bigger matches, even, and some of the more the guys that are in it day and day would, would be able to tell me more of this. But in some of the bigger, bigger, bigger pay per views, they won't tell you who's going to win the match until you get to the venue. Mm-hmm. They don't want any of that leaked. Well, so they... they'll just keep it in the air. The writers know, and maybe like Triple H or maybe Vince knows, but nobody else knows, and they'll just keep it close to the vest until the big pay per view. And then mm-hmm. I heard, too, though, that they also they write alternative endings, uh, mm-hmm. and then they go to them right before the match. Yeah, so Juan's saying it now. Yeah, he'll, he'll based on how they're, they'll feel. Kind of the yeah. crowd, so or no one will know. Even the wrestlers won't know no. until right before who's going to win. Maybe right? the ref might be the only person that knows. You know, like you might get told right before the match. They'll swap things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You because know? you could. Uh, there's like uh, markets you can gamble on this shit. Where uh, you could, you know, I know for the big ones, uh, WrestleManias and stuff, you could definitely gamble on who's going to win. Yeah, even though it's predetermined, but. They know that uh, Vince McMahon does such a good job keeping it under wraps that, you know, there, there's a whole thing. When, uh, <clears throat> and we get in with this uh, gambling. Uh, now, like, the whole Super Bowl props is the biggest thing in gambling. And everybody, uh, they open up so many different props that mm-hmm. uh, it's a gigantic market. And uh, everybody talks about the Super Bowl props that you can cheat on. And uh, there's a specific amount of, like, people on the Internet that do this every year, especially Especially with like national anthem times and stuff, yeah. Because there's rehearsals, so someone there will leak out to people like, "All right, I was at the rehearsal, and here's the exact time in the national anthem, or at least with the, during the rehearsal." Yeah. And they'll leak that out, and they'll bet crazy on that. Now they'll keep the limits where you can't bet over X amount or whatever, hundred bucks over the five hundred yeah, yeah. bucks. But um, there are certain things like the Gatorade colors, the things that you can know. Actually, what it is because someone knows. Like, That's cool. Whoever put the Gatorade in there, that kid or whoever person knows the color, and that's a that you know you could bet on that. Yeah, uh, on a bunch of different. We sites need to or, get a list of those again. I, those are fun. I I'll forget go, when we do those. I enjoy those. Next week, um, before the Super Bowl, I'll uh, I'll tell you guys some props that I'm betting on. But uh, yeah, there's uh, oh, there's lots God. of stuff. Oh, you don't like uh, gambling? <laughs> I need to teach you how to gamble because I feel I know how to gamble. <laughs> no, you don't really. <laughs> <Let me mansplain. laughs> you don't really. <laughs> I know I don't really. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Well, that well, how we, are you going to teach me? If we uh, took two hundred fifty dollars of company money for you and two hundred fifty dollars of company money for Sam. Mm. And gave you a Ooh. specified amount of time. I like this. Okay. Could you beat her? Well, let's do it for the Super Bowl. All right. So props, prop uh, bets. Yeah, you can go through. Okay. Is that too much? That's too much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had right. a feeling it was. <laughs> I was he looked at you sideways like, yeah, he did. He gave me the stink eye. He gave me too much. You know what well, he gave me? Much. Much. He gave me the day he got mad at me and called me a dickhead. He gave me the uh, the eyeball. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll each take a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. And then. Uh, you remember. They're all available. You could just look online. Maybe they get even through you the. Got to bet on the same ones, right? Yeah, or you, no? do, you, you should be looking at the. No, same well, spots. You, a hundred dollars, and then you just got to pick where you want to bet uh, your hundred dollars. Now you can spread okay. it across. So it doesn't have to be the same. No, bet. no, 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 no. You, okay. you just pick out, and I'll pick out the ones that I studied and that I know. Uh, be the better gambler win. Yeah, yeah. And then and then we have to uh, figure out, you know, a repercussion if whoever. Hey, loses. luck's on my side. Buddy, I, I lived with a guy that was COVID positive for a week and I uh, didn't get nothing. That, that is true. Uh, luck on my side. Uh, that's that's uh, not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that 
worries me a little uh, bit. I mean, it's really the only thing I was. Uh, I don't the know. Only thing got. So uh, just think about uh, what the repercussion will. Uh, well, wait a minute. We we'll have to work out the details. This bed can get know, really like, crazy because they have one. Uh, you're shaving your head. No, no. We'll just announce next Friday. We'll have a week if to prepare. If Sam wins, you shave your head, King Kong Bundy. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> if you win, she shows her titties. <laughs> No, I'm the on. best. Of I did that on the last. I uh, am the Super best. Twist. I am the best. Yeah, no, you yeah. almost did it. I stopped it, but this time there's no stopping it. It can't be stopped. No, no. I'm Dent McMahon. We'll figure out something uh, and, and just uh, do your study. He just I'm wrote longer. titties on a piece of paper. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> then I folded it real small to put in a hat. <laughs> My titty hat. Titty hat. I told you this it's, would happen. I told. You this would happen. <laughs> All the papers I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. we have, since, you, since you've been gone, Sam, we bought a giant sombrero <laughs> and we fill it full of little pieces of paper with the word titties. On. <laughs> it's the titty hat. The titty sombrero. You know what? We'll bring it. If we end up doing an event ever again, which I don't think we will, uh, if we do, I'll bring the titty sombrero. <laughs> okay. It's a sombrero with a bunch of little pieces of paper in it that say titties in different languages. <laughs> Multicultural. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Samantha, are you? Oh, somebody's uh, calling me from Leesburg. Let's I, get it. I'm guessing Uh-oh. you're not doing. It's Warby Jones. Oh, 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 hello. I think she said. They heard you say Spanish. sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> A segundo, a titty sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> It's here. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm guessing you're not doing semantics uh, this weekend. Uh, we released an episode this past Sunday. Um, as of 2021, we're going to do semantics every other week. So we released uh, an episode this past Sunday, which was before we knew anything about Travis having COVID. It was while we were on vacation. Also, our uh, Patreon episode came out this week as well. And we will record next week uh, from the studio, just me and Trav, because we are going to be safe and not have guests for a little bit. Yep. Yeah, that's probably so probably for the best. I said come in on Monday. <laughs> yeah, like, you could have okay. come in today. Yeah, I was over five. I can. It's up to you. Uh, no, guys. no. Yeah, come in here. Yeah, you got to do the thing. Well, it depends on the bet. <laughs> do the same bet thing. If the bet, if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, if Tom wins a bet, you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> if you lose a bet, you, yeah, yeah, you guys that? work it out. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I'll yeah. just be with my sombrero. Yeah. Just knock on the door. <laughs> um, watering holes, um, of course. Uh, if you go to TomAndDanWateringHoles.com, you can see all of our bar and restaurant partners, and they all have free giveaways if you uh, go by there. And uh, speaking of giveaways, if you follow our social media, it's basically all Tom and Dan Live, right? Um, yeah, everything's Tom and Dan Live, and basically everything. On, there's a lot of giveaways. There's a lot, we give yeah. away a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and if you get this uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzer, it's good. Uh, man. If you like hard seltzers, they're really good. Like the flavor is awesome, and yeah. it's less somehow less carbs and less sugar. Well, if you're one of those people that and said, and I and I heard this from folks that say, oh, White Claw, I don't like it. Like I like a full flavor. I like this. Dude, White Claw to me, it tastes watered down. Okay, I've heard that before. Um, this is not. This is this is uh, got a lot of flavor in it. Yeah, Lots of yeah. it's and, really really tasty. Uh, go by your local ABC and just put up hashtag TDABC and a picture of this. We'll give out prizes for that as well. Indeed. And uh, right. sign up for our uh, ABC rewards card as well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, don't yeah. sleep on the delivery, right, Sam? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, probably gonna get some of that this weekend. Yeah, me too. I've uh, I've already started doing. It. Is there anything else we need to hit for people? We might have something coming. Should I have a hat coming today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. Is it finally coming? I hope so. <laughs> My God, we uh, hopefully have a big announcement coming in the next couple weeks about something we're uh, trying to How do. How are you feeling about that, buddy? You stressed? I think no. Yeah. I think it's good. I, everything's coming together so far. Um, but uh, you should be worried. Everybody should be very worried. It's I'm desert. extremely worried. Yeah. I'm not there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You should. You should see. <laughs> The mumbo jumbo. Oh, <laughs> you should see how dirty the office is. You should see how uh, sink is ready for the whole you have to, I'm, putting, I'm putting the monies here, there. Um, <laughs> okay. this person, we'll this end person. with this. We'll end with this. Yesterday. Daniel legitimately got scared for one second. Well, then you explained it. It makes sense. You know, like the movement. Yeah, and we're not going to get caught. <laughs> We're not. Oh god! Oh god! That's We're what I said. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, there's no. It's just, yeah. it just, it's an impossibility. Yeah, yeah. And and Butler's got to control the burn barrel. I told him. He's I like, fine. Everything's, uh, you know. When's the last time you checked that? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you're burning our printer. <laughs> <laughs> Green. Well, I don't know. All right. Um, 
Thank you, BDMs, for being BDMs, and uh, bye-bye. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from... The Mighty Mighty Bostones. With appearances by Ska Royalty, including but not limited to appearances from Rancid, The Interrupters, Fishbone, Stiff Little Fingers, Suicide Machines, Less Than Jake, Murphy's Law, H2O, Goldfinger, The Toasters, Tim Scalabem, Big D and the Kids Table, The Agro Lights, The Dance Hall Crashers, Aquabats, Buck 09, The Pie Tasters, The Specials. Did I say Tim Scalabem? I meant Bim Scalabem. And the list goes on and on and on. This is their latest single. It's called The Final Parade. You can find it just about everywhere. And again, I think that means we're going to get new music from the Bostones. Cheek Face was up next. This is my pick of the week. The lyrics of the song are just so fucking good. They're hard. It's I mean, it's hard to ignore any of the lyrics in the song because they're so quirky and weird. It's from the brand new Emphatically No album. I implore you to get a little cheek face in your ears. You heard their song. Listen to your heart. No. Here's some cashed out, and I bet you didn't know that they just released some brand new music as of this morning. Well, Travis reached out to Marshall, their drummer. He is our point of contact, and he said, yeah, play some of our brand new music. So here's cashed out, good at getting by. We closed out the day with new music from alt-country pioneers and songsmiths Lucero. Now, I'm not sure how you could listen to any smattering of alt-country or ex-country without knowing who these guys are, but this is from their brand new When You Found Me album. You heard their song Back in Ohio. On that note, guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll be back here on Monday for BDM shows, uh, your OG BDM, and uh, ACTs. Have a great weekend. <laughs>